It's that brotherly love. It's that brotherly love. It's that brotherly love. Yeah. It's that brotherly love. Need some yeah. of that brotherly love, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna kiss my brother on his lips. It's that brotherly love. Is that wrong to love? I'm down. Oh with no. I'm so down. We're brothers in love. So in brothers love. in love. Brothers in love. Yeah, so we're in love. love. So much love, baby. Three way kiss between your bros is yeah. cool. It's brotherly love. Yeah, you know it. It's love. brotherly love. Yeah, you know it. It's brotherly love. Who else doesn't want to kiss their brother on the mouth that's love? Oh yeah, kiss my brother on his lips while he's sleeping. Kiss my brother on his lips while he's awake. I don't care if I'll take those lips any day of the week. My brother's got a nice dick. Nice dick. My brother's got a nice Jared's the only one that's fucking circumcised. My parents skipped me and Mike. You wonder what that's like. So I was just like, Jared, just show us your dick. And he was like, nothing's wrong about that. So he showed me. Then he showed Mike. But too bad I started to like his dick more than I like my own dick. I like my brother's dick more than mine. It doesn't flap in the wind. Okay, cheese. It doesn't flap in the wind. Okay, cheese. It's funny that you say that, because I like your dick. Better than I like my own. Word. Damn. Sometimes I, just, I look at my dick in the house when I'm all alone. I wish you were like damn. yours. Uh -huh. With that extra flap. Oh, yeah. With that extra half an extra inch. Extra half, baby. Damn. And now I got nothing. I got nothing to cinch. Damn. Yeah. Damn. We got yeah. scarves and you got a helmet. I got a little extra skin on my dick. Hey, yeah. Mike's got a little Mom, extra skin on his dick. Mom and dad put you through mental and physical torture at an early age. Yeah, that's right. It's crazy. And now I wish brother. they saved it. Oh, yeah. So I could reattach it. Oh, no, nah, baby. You <laughs> wanna so be a uh, surgery. Uncircumcised like me. That's all you wanna be. But it's that brotherly love. I brotherly don't get love. any breeze. I just want to dock with Jared. I just want to dock my brother. I just want to dock my brother's brotherly love. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the middle <laughs> child, so it's halfway pulled back. And it's just like that. Yeah, yeah. Mike ripped his own dick sitting in the shower so one day. Sick. That's true. That's a true fucking story. It's and that it brotherly hurt. love. But now I'm semi-sir. Now I'm semi-sir. Now I'm semi -sir. No, that boy is semi-sir. He's semi-sir. And now Whoa. I'm full on unsir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got half an inch of false skin just hanging out my pants. Yeah. My cheese ratio is stuck lower. in the zip. Brotherly love. Get stuck in the zip. Brotherly love. My cheese ratio is way lower. Brotherly love. <laughs> Jared is the lowest. I don't so care about the extra cleaning. No. <laughs> All that built up semen. Woo! All the other dead skin that's stuck in between it. I and just the, want your brotherly love. Little pieces of love. lint that I don't get to pick out. It's from my pants just stuck on my dick. You don't really want to see that shit, but you do because it's that brotherly love. love. Brotherly love. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. I never realized how jealous I was of you guys. Yeah, that no, was a three minute. That, that was a three minute banger. That was a three Dude. minute banger. I, 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 it's 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 a reverse jealousy because I'm jealous too sometimes. Right. Yeah, that's what I guess. It is. I mean, you we have to take more showers than you. You well, you always you're always jealous of what you don't have. That's yeah. true. Yeah. 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 You yeah. also don't know when well, you're what also you scared of what you, till, it's, till it's gone. Yeah. Exactly. Like foreskin. Yeah. And there was no there was no talking. Like yeah. the guy just came in was just like I was like who's this guy. And he was just like, I'm the guy that's going to cut the sleeve off. And you were, and you were always, and you knew that, but you were always nice to us. You didn't like show up with your friends while we were all, while me and Danny were hanging out. You're like, look, it's rumple foreskin. Right, right. But because I knew, <laughs> because deep down inside, I was jealous. So I was, uh, yeah, maybe nah. there was. Dad's on Cirque. You're the only Dad Cirque. Is on I'm Cirque. the only, yeah, I'm the only, I'm the only, uh. On un Cirque Prince. But yeah, you know rocking, what? Is dad, is dad, the, uh, is dad no not on net. Cirque though? Because he's, his dad was from Italy, like yes. right off the boat. Yes. yes. I just okay. think there was a time where they just didn't do it. It was only like Jews that did it. Yeah. Well, was it? Yeah. It was like, yeah. Well, yeah. It was a Jewish thing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Jared's on the show. Hey. Uh, if you, you're not seeing uh, Triple, there, the, you are seeing Triple, but Graham. we're all different people. Claps but yes, in the Jared, chat. Jared's here. Jared's I'm so here. to be here. Um, sorry. We had to talk. miles. Yeah. We had to talk about our, um, our gay love for each other, which mm -hmm. is perfectly normal. That's how we right. stay. That's, so, our, that's, that's how, how we our, stay. Uh, 
That's how because we don't we tight. don't text each other all day. We don't. No. I'm sure don't. people think that we do all the time. We don't. But no, we'll go days without speaking. Yeah, no, we no, don't even we, have a yeah. group chat. No, we don't even. Yo, what? what do we? And no, we no, do. We don't. There's got to be one. We got to start one. Yeah, no, I think one. we did, but we gradually, like every other group chat, you just leave it eventually. But Jared yeah. works. We have like, one with Alex. With Alex. Yeah, we I have work one with peak, Alex. I work, yeah, I work peak hours. So like when the peak texting is happening yeah, in right. normal lifestyles, right. I'm like balls deep in, in pasta. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, do you and, just and smell like sauce and pasta when you get home? I do get a little stinky because I got a three piece suit on and it's Florida dude. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Is and it I'm, hot in that restaurant? It's, it, it's, it's not. I haven't been in there. It's yet. not. It's actually like when you're moving, dude, you, I do eight miles a day. It's disgusting. Walking around. It's horrible. One just location. In, just back and dude, forth miles like a fucking, insane. like a lab rat. Your, yeah. your cardiovascular is probably crazy. When I work outside though, I take off the jacket. Oh, and I don't sweat a lot. I've been like blessed to not be like a Pat Ewing. What kind of deodorant do you use? I I recently was gifted a aluminumness list. What is it? Aluminumness. Yeah, aluminum you got it. You got it. Uh, I just got deodorant, something like that. but it doesn't hold up. Um, yeah, I usually go. I usually go antiperspirant, like the the white ones. Is that the is that the one? Yeah. That's, that's the powder so, one. That's yeah. retro. Yeah, but that's it's super but retro. It, but, dude. It, but it but it cakes on the sleeves. Yeah, like the armpits. Yeah. And it kind of. My fucks friend with the gave me this fucking little fucking like deodorant. I don't know if it's like a sample. It looks like you could use it to maybe like I don't know fucking put it on like a mouse's mice armpits or something. But it's right. a small a small amount, and it's the same thing. It's aluminumness. But the thing is. Is it aluminum less? Is it aluminum? Alu- aluminum without less. non-aluminum. Non-aluminum. Right. Not Let's say that. Aluminum ness. Al- aluminum less. Got it. Aluminum ness yeah, sounds like a word that. Eminem would yeah. randomly just put in one yeah. of his rhymes. But, but I just use. I just. I started using a like a charcoal based one. It's the only one that keeps me from being stinky. Oh yeah, you told me about charcoal. Putting based. charcoal near my face, like I brush my teeth with charcoal for yeah. a while. Yeah. It but always made me feel like something dangerous was about to happen. Yeah. Like it was too risky. I'm yeah. like, you can't, it's like, don't ever swallow any yeah, of this. Yeah. And then you just, you're super, yeah. it's just I like I nervous. Can, like all I your friends are going to show up and try to cook a chicken in your mouth. And it sprays everywhere. Like oh, black yeah. charcoal shit. It's like a fucking. Oh, does it? Yeah. It looks like, like a Basquiat. Yeah. It was fucking in it my looks bathroom. It like, like sucked done. off a chimney. Yeah. Just think about how fun. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks like. It's uh, like your mouth's so sooty. But it's the only one that keeps me from actually like, perspiring and then also just smelling like a fucking dog right. shit house. wait for a long right. time though yeah dude i just smell it like smell it right now is it good i smell good oh chim chimney chim chim to yeah chim, yeah chim, yeah, chim, yeah. Chim, i'm ooh. fucking super charcoal it's charcoal I can magnesium still smell, i can still but smell I'll, a little bit of man in but, yeah, but yeah, yeah i've this. been wearing it for a while but now. not right. full on yeah, yeah i'll yeah, say yeah, this right. i can go two or three days without wearing deodorant if i'm not working and not smell. Oh, I'm a stinky fuck. It's absolutely amazing. My ex used to say it all the time. Like, dude, you never smell like body odor. Oh, I stink like shit. And I have my days where I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is fucking, I'm going to kill somebody with this. Yeah, I'm I, can't, I can't get over this, these glasses because you look like Sam Rothstein from uh, Casino. I but get then you Sam Rothstein. And then you I have get, a little hat and you, yeah. look, you look like Anderson Pack. Right. So it is. Oh, uh, Anderson so this, Pack, so, yeah. so to touch on these glasses. They're Pat, fire, by the way. I appreciate it. You look it. like Anderson Lebowski pack i yeah. i want right now. <laughs> and a little bit of like elliot gould from oceans yeah. 11 yeah the, the oh. way that i came to these glasses is that or we came together was uh my my puppy ate my fucking glasses oh wow. oh the ones i've always seen you the warby parkers dude yeah. i'm a piece of shit i, I didn't even notice that you were warby wearing Park. new warby glasses parkers right now. is such a great company yeah, so warby uh, parker it, but, I, it, but it meant something i was just like listen I, I obviously need a new kind of like fashion statement i'm in miami yeah. so i wanted to go with my era the 80s the big oversized frames yeah and i and i put these on and i was like these are absolutely ridiculous i'll take them right right but then i didn't realize because i'm so blind how thick the lenses were going to be that it like distorts my face so like one part of my face looks like skinny like this and yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of like this i have to do but that but they too. work with the tuxedo yeah. and they, and they got the the transition so yeah. i ride with them and they turn dark yeah. i like them a lot so yeah they're you, they're my harlem harlem like Drug dealer like Nikki Barnes glasses. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah I right. Mean. Well, you can guess. You can guess which one of us lives in Florida because that tan is popping. Dude. Yeah, dude, dude you look leathery. great. That tan I'm, is. Look you look like God. fucking Hulk Hogan, dude. Dude, the contrast. Like Louis Vuitton, but me and yo, Danny you look like, like Hulk Hogan, bro. Fucking me, like and Dan- Hulk Hogan. me and Danny look like we're fucking sick. Like we're yeah, yeah. Every, everybody in, in New York is so pasty right yeah, now. Oh, we're gross. Yeah, it's just we're gray. Gross. Yeah, it's I just gray. I'm, you know, you look Miami, so Puerto Rican, and I ride. That I tan comes with a lot of not sin. Not many Puerto Ricans in Miami. No, no, Cubans you don't. Yeah, it's no. Cubans, Venezuelans, yeah, yeah. Ecuadorians. And they all love Trump. They, you know, it's it's funny is that they do a lot of immigrants. Yeah, Cubans love it. Yeah, they love it. They're just because they're they're uh, 
I mean, not all, but I'm sure there's some that they're, don't. But they're, in they're Florida, afraid, tied of the, the they're Democratic afraid of, America. No, they're afraid of socialism. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. Yeah. And communism. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that so makes that's sense. why, like, they, they rock with that hard. We pay attention to shit. Yeah, I fucking read, we, fucking but, bitch. Bam. I read books. Dude, yo, I, I got to be smart, the Cuban yo. Americans and all that. Like, you know, we're not saying all. We're just saying fucking, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. For it. I mean, that's it always the shocks fat, me. statistics. Yeah, man. it always shocks me to hear immigrants be, like, pro-Trump because I kind of just feel like he's not very supportive of, like, No, he'll, darker, put, you, he'll put you in the cage. Yeah. Yeah, um, any yeah. hooser. Uh, hey, but yeah, hey, so we're gonna keep it real. You don't yep. like it? Go fucking suck it down the block. Word, uh, word, Hunt. word, homie. Um, that means go to Hunts. Yeah, uh, Selena's family are Cuban Americans. Oh, yeah, 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 are yeah, they? Yeah. So you're gonna get a couple text messages. Later. Oh, I can't wait. Well, they love me in that. No, they do. They anyway, no, no. So. There's really nothing Michael can do wrong that's gonna make Selena's. Selena's my girlfriend, by the way. It, that's gonna make. Yeah, he would have to like kill a small animal in front of them. Selena yeah. said though, when she was here, she was like, <laughs> she was like, I'm not that I wasn't her favorite. I don't know if she was being nice to you. But you've always told me that I was to her and to her sisters. Yeah. 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 Cause like you were like the, 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 the physical comedy is very big with them. Yeah, so you're and right. I was very focused on that and being like a household name. Yeah. Online, and my but. shit's all like, fuck shit, tit ass. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were like, it's so funny. People back in the day were like, yo, uh, Danny's like way more like aggressive and stuff. And I'm like, no, we're both like that. It's just that yeah. I found my niche and Danny just came in like niche. BET Did you on say cut. Niche? A niche? niche. Is it niche or is it niche? No, I think of niche I as a fucking that. existential fucking journalist writer. Oh, that's ni- niche. niche. Is niche. that niche or niche? Uh, now we're going into different niche. Yeah. We I just said we niche. were smart. Yeah. It's niche. niche. It's a niche for sure. Is it niche? Yeah, I'm rocking. I have found niche? I have found that as I've gotten older, I've become like that weird Jeopardy smart. Yeah, where yeah. like you ever play? Do you guys have a, uh, an Alexa? Do you, do you do you own one where you're just like, hey, let's play nah. Jeopardy? And, they, and so on Alexa, you could play Jeopardy, and they'll just ask uh, you random questions. That's cool. And I play strip Jeopardy with uh, with the young women that are dumb enough to come to my house. Right. And and I fucking I I go in. Here's yeah. an incredibly dumb response. How old to are that. These, How old are these girls though? That are now that I'm spending time with. Yeah, younger than I, you, same age. Younger. I I have, yeah, younger, but not, so. but not like, not like, you know, ten year gap. It's like thirty to yeah. thirty. But if you lost to them in Jeopardy, it'd probably be bad. Well, but well, you're yeah, naked. because I don't want to be naked. I mean, if I end up naked, it's a win win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you know things are gonna happen. But I'm just saying, like, it's a good way to show how smart you are and how good you look naked at the yeah. same time. Yeah, and then they'll want to have sex with you more because you're smart. Yeah, they're like, this dude's smart. Yeah. Young girls, a lot of the time, also, so I feel like some of them don't really know what they want. They kind of want to party on and get their thing going. Yeah. So if you're with a younger girl, let's say like 24, 23, right? A lot of the time. I feel like, especially not, and I'm not speaking about New York girls. I'm staying away from that age. That age. Well, I just feel I'm like they want to. They want to. You have so much more to do with your life. You know what I mean? Live your life. Like focus and do your yeah. thing. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But like, personally, also love older women too. Very experienced. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I'm sure there's gonna be. I'm sure there's people that are like. I could do plenty of fucking things you don't know about. The, you know what I'm the, saying? The t- like, right, yeah. Well, you say that. I think I think also depending on where you spend your time, you're more likely to bunk, bump into like a certain age. Right. Yeah. Demographic right. that's like just in that area. We, right. Miami's like a fucking melting pot. Too, but you ever notice when a younger girl wants to be with a guy older and settle down, they're considered like old souls. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they're yeah. considered or something like, else. Right. What? 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 <laughs> like, I, no, find, I, I, gold, I genuinely don't understand that. Right. Like gold, gold, di- gold yeah, digger. Gold digger. Oh. Yeah. Like, if, if they were like really yeah, old. Yeah, but the good so? thing about a gold Damn, digger, a, a good thing fun. about a gold digger, like a real true gold digger, is that they know off rip right. what you're worth. And the dude knows too. You know what I mean? Like, right. and, and that's the thing. Like, I've been fortunate enough to just be broke all my life, which right. I actually see as a, as a gift because I've never gotten into like the wealthy illness. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that comes along with being extremely wealthy. And when women meet me, they know I'm not wealthy. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not rich, I'm rich either. I'm, I'm rich in like, character and in dick game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So. I've never, yeah, because there's no way Tough. I'm fucking rich. Boom. I'll give one, myself one of those. There's well, no I'm, way I'm, I'm rich. Yeah, but you, Mike, I feel like if, even if you were rich, like you wouldn't be rich for some reason. 
Yeah, because like act rich. Well, that's no, no, that's no. He just nobody, like wouldn't be rich in his own head. That's because nobody knows about my money, and I'd rather not split the check. So I'm poor as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, I mean, that's everybody another... knows that already about me now. Jared that's, is. I Jared. literally had a girl co- like come up to me, like, uh, well, not come up to me, but like talk to me recently, and was just like, "Yeah, you just seem like super cheap," and I was just like, "That's that's that's me." Well, well that's I've always me. said there's cheap. <laughs> I've always said this. <laughs> that's there's me, there's cheap and there's broke. <laughs> Like there's cheap and there's broke. If I can't afford what we what you want to do, right? That's not me being cheap because if I had right. it, then I we just would can't do afford it. it. Yeah, but, but if I, I have... can afford it and I still don't want to do it, then yeah. I'm just being cheap. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have this maniacal plan that once I'm incredibly rich, I'm gonna make everyone suck my dick and just pay for everything all the fucking time with permission. With permission. With permission. With permission. With permission. Yeah. Uh, I love we that. Oh, you should come to Miami then. Yeah. Uh, you'd yeah, be I perfectly know. fine down there. Also, this is what I'm not in Miami. Than New York, one hundred percent. No, the cost the enough. cost of living is is different. Like you can get a bomb ass apartment, right? For okay. just crumbs and a fraction of what you pay for something that's, like that. Okay, that's, that's hot. In what New I York. Pay, what I pay in New York City? Yeah. If I paid it down there, oh my shit would God. be huge, dude. I pulled yeah. up at Danny's house today and I was like, "Yo, my brother's rich." <laughs> It's a really nice apartment building. Dude, oh, it's I really, put, I, I, from what dude, I just see, anyway. It's yeah. just like, and I know, and then I'm looking around at other people walking up and down that right. area, and I'm like, right. do they know my brother lives in their building? Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I saw him coming out, and I'm like, oh, my, I, I pulled up. I was like, oh, my brother, like, is a janitor. Is that, yeah. that, I, I, I've, been, I've been profiled many times. Dude, now, hell does yeah. That, uh, does that sting the, a little bit when you get that monthly uh, throwdown um, for the for the place? No, because no. it's, it's, it's. I've been lucky enough to do okay. It only but stings when you can't afford it. It only stings when you can't afford it. But yeah. the thing is, also, it's well, not also like, why would you if you couldn't either? I yeah, guess. Yeah, I right? would. I wouldn't be there if I couldn't afford it, right? But right. for me, right, I think about the way like the world is. That's why, like, in two years, and like, if this show like takes off and makes like a shitload of money, I'm just gonna make you come to Florida. I think. Yeah. Because yeah. I know, like, you like Texas a lot. Like, you maybe you're thinking about, like, Austin. And obviously, we don't decide this now. Yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just right. saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the money's right, yeah. we're moving to Florida. I'll 100%. tell you this. I'll tell you this. Yeah. And if the money's right, you can own a dope ass apartment in Florida that you rent out. You right. Don't only you stay. You only stay in when you're there. Yeah. Well, and what live about you? Else. Would you rather stay? Are you going to stay there? You think, or would you rather come back? It, honestly, it all comes down to Work. what happens with uh, right. with uh, I mean, money wise, right. it's, it's been a great. Because idea. I expected like, you. My I, whole idea was to go to Miami and make be- better yeah. bread. You could smoke that, is, that on here, and that is happening. I yeah. can hit. This yeah, 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 I'm so, sitting yeah. there holding it like, yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. Richard Pryor. I didn't mean to cut you off because I, I, like expe- I expected you to. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Bob Dole is, but yeah, 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 I'm Bob Dole. I'm Bob Dole. How can you forget Bob Dole? You mentioned that he was Bob Dole every day. Yeah, I'm Bob yeah. Dole. I'm Bob Dole. I'm telling Bob you right Dole. now, I'm Bob adjusting Dole. to Miami in a lifestyle Bob that I've never lived anywhere else. But the thing was, is that when I lived in New York, I was only like Westchester hood suburb New York. I wasn't like Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, New York. Right. I yeah. never fell in love with that part of, yeah. of Manhattan. Yeah. We're just spending enjoyed, like weekends at the tunnel. Yeah, it's like I didn't. People yeah. are like, yo, you're off of work. Why don't you come hang out in the city? I'm like, uh. What I do enjoy about the city is that fashion wise, it is like no other place. Oh, we're super driven. Like the the fashion in Miami is 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 nowhere near. Like everybody just walks around in this scantily dressed, no, like skimpy shit because everybody's in good shape because it's such hot weather. It's like yeah. I'm not gonna walk around and hide my fucking my dad yeah, body fall in a fucking is hoodie. Fashion season, isn't it? Yeah. Or no? When's fashion season? Fashion Fashion Week, I think, is in the fall. So it is, is right? It? Yes, yeah. it makes the most sense. The thing about uh. Drip in Miami is they're, they're limited because they it's hot all the time. Right. But right. New so you York can't style on them with like boots and jeans yeah. and like layers where you could rock like three outfits. Florida and, can't dress like New York. At no, all. I know some summer. crazy motherfuckers who will rock all that in the summer. Though. No, but there's some fly. Yeah. I tell you what Miami is, is. Miami is the capital of the ugly shirt. And it, it's and it's OK yeah. to rock an ugly shirt yeah. in Miami. Because it, it means just, you're rich. Uh, I went out and it? bought a yeah. bunch of ugly shirts the just so I could fit in. Yeah, the, the ugly. <laughs> but I still don't fit in. People know I'm from New York. Like the second yeah. I, I walk past them, the uglier like, the shirt, like it's more drippy. You are. So do you, yeah. But everything that they wear is like top shelf, like super expensive shit. But everybody has it on. Right. So they all got the same bag. Right. They all got the same yeah, shoes. There's no, there's no customization of drip. Yeah. You're saying at all. in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like when I when I walk into a place dressed the way that I'm dressed, like people automatically assume that I'm I'm not from Miami. And then when I talk to them, they're just like, oh, this dude's from New York. You can't hide being from New York. Nobody f- is like from Miami. It's very no, rare. That's, okay. Yeah, Miami Beach how much, especially. How much yeah. cocaine is there? Let's get down oh, to dude, a whole bunch. Let's get down to absurd amounts. Let's get down and to brass And, and it's actually really expensive compared to what New York is. 
Oh, so, it's more yeah. expensive in yep. fucking in yeah. Miami. And I only heard that from rumors. Yeah, yeah. we don't do we don't do we don't do yeah. drugs on here. Yeah, we don't do drugs. Damn. Damn. Fuck drugs. But if we do, it's like drugs. Hey. That's a, as soon as you do a line. That's a, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys want to go for a walk? That's the line, though. It's, just, it's all coming back. Yeah. Oh. But I miss. But I miss you guys. I miss. I miss. Hell yeah. I miss the neighborhood feeling where I live. Well, I live North Beach, so I'm, I'm away from like all the craziness that goes on. Right. Right. But I'm really close to the beach, and everybody that comes to visit me from South Beach to where I'm at, up, uh, you know, I'm closer to like Surfside. People are like. Dude, you live so far away, but it's only six miles. Yeah, it's not that. But bad. the lifestyle changes also, you probably, completely. You would enjoy that outside six miles. In my in my twenties, I would have wanted to live closer. What's the lowest temperature you've even experienced out there? Like fifty oh, five? No, no, no. no there was one night that I, I think it was like forty eight or forty nine, yeah. and I was riding oh. home. But still, like I still had like the New York thick skin for like cold, so I was just riding home in my t shirt, like whatever. But everybody's outside and like you know hoodies and shit. And Bro, I, I got yeah. Let me tell you stuff. something. When it hits June or July, you're gonna think oh. you're living on the fucking sun. I know. It is so it's fucking hot awful. down there. I know. But I just know. go to the beach, bro, dude. That's I was I so fucking dark when I was down there. I looked Indian. Right. Yeah, like a dude is like, oh, I thought you were Indian. I was like, nah, dude. I just been down here. And, and that's and why, moved. dude. We're like racial chameleons. Yeah, yeah we yeah, are. Don't yeah. Know. We can be so many things. You could be Jewish. Yeah, we could be so many. Yeah, we be Jewish. We be Brazilian. Yeah. People, a lot of people no think knows. like uh, some people have messaged me and been like th- telling me that I look like uh, uh, like a lot of Arabic guys that they know yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Egyptian, you know? I get Egyptian a lot. T Pain, T Pain thought we were black. Yeah, no. Really? So, well, yeah. well, why? Because of the tonality of our voices, I probably, or no, just behavior. We what, what did was it? we did this Twitch. We Love were doing T-Pain, we were by doing, the way. doing Shout Twitch. Out to T-Pain. What, a, <laughs> we what were a talented t- dude. T Pain, what a talented dude, man. We were doing uh, the sponsorship stream for Voodoo Ranger for this beer, IPA. And uh, and he's like, y'all are black, right? Like a part black. And I was like, no. Yeah. Uh, I didn't say it that disgusted, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Like, no. No. No, no, I ever. didn't say it. I wasn't like, ever. Well, how dare thee? <laughs> no, I just said, no, we're not. And I laughed. And I was like, why? He goes, nah, y'all N-words are black. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, all your brothers, every single yeah. last one of you. That's so he's funny. He's like, you guys sing like it. Like, you say like all, it was, just, it was mad funny. Right. And I just remember I couldn't laugh because, and shout out to T-Pain and his wife, Pan Pan. Like, they're the coolest people ever. And yeah. uh, I think he, so he's. You got to send him out to, to uh, come visit me at the spot. I think he's a, I think, no, he's originally, yeah, he's originally from Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Do you, do you know that the T and T-Pain stands for Tallahassee? Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. Tell Tell and, and, you know, and you know what he fucking told me also recently? His fucking dad helped convert Mike Tyson to fucking uh, Islam. Really? Yeah. His dad and... Uh, so T-Pain is, is Muslim? Yes. His, yeah. his, his, his uh, I think his real name is... Oh, God, I'm going to fuck it up. It's like... I can look it up. It's like Fahim. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah it's Fahim. What I think. a talented dude, man. Yeah, he's super oh, talented. He's the fucking man, and he's just a down to earth motherfucker. Yeah. But every, <laughs> but um, yeah, just getting back to Florida, though, like everyone's kind of like a, like a, like an insta... Insta thought, male or yeah. female. Well, wow. I'm stuck in Insta. That's what I always refer to it as. There I feel like I'm Insta stuck thoughts. in. I'm you're stuck, stuck in, in Instagram, Instagram world, and you know that I don't fuck with any of that Instagram shit. But so you're just around like a today, bunch of yeah, right now. Yeah, well, maybe not right now. No, right we're now. gonna do it right now. I'm gonna create an Instagram account right now. I'm, I'm gonna do it. For, I'm yeah. gonna do it for you. you. Wanna you're do gonna it for do me this? right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I gotta be Yo, honest. But guys, let me let me just say. How let me single do. are you, by the way? Listen, I, as a dollar that? bill, as a dollar bill. Guys. Jared's never been single. So guys, guys single. ladies, dogs, yeah. it doesn't matter. Nobody's, nobody's safe. safe. Just nobody's ladies, right. Just nobody's ladies safe. these days. See, the thing about not having Instagram though is is it makes you're kind of like you're kind of like uh like a unicorn like because everybody has it. So when you don't have it, wait. You're saying when you're in a relationship, there? No, no, no. I'm saying that I kept, I stepped, I stepped away from Instagram. I think I had it for like six months when it first started, like really be, became like a big deal. Right, right. But there was no privacy and I was dealing with something at the time that I wanted privacy and I just didn't want people to know what I was doing, who I was with, where I was at. And I just wanted to stay away yes. from everybody. You were border, you were on Facebook for a minute because I went back You're to your older old page. Too. I went yeah, but not, but but I don't know what that means. Like being older, everybody fucking still has it. Like it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, I yeah. mean, people that are sixty five that have fucking Instagram that but, love it. But your Facebook, yeah. I you're still up. I go to your older yeah. like uh, your messages yeah. and shit. I'm like, damn, Jared was thinking that night. Like you have those, you had those moments. I did have, and those I moments. can't believe it because I'm so used to you not, not being having. online. And that's what goes back to the point that I was making is that is not having it. People are like. They like it that I don't have it. Like right. they're just like, wow. So I like you're that not about like, you too, though. You're not covered I like that in about shit. you too, though. So the thing is, is that now, 
God, you know, you're... now that now that I'm down there and I have to kind of like adapt to just a different lifestyle. Right. I'm like, all right, well, I can invite Instagram back into my life and see if I can like right. cope with it and deal with it. You can do, always delete it. Do you fuck with I, Tinder, Bumble, or any of that? I have Tinder. Okay. I think Danny helped me set it up. Didn't yeah. you help me set yeah, it up? Yeah. You're on the phone. Yeah, help and I'll tell you right Tinder. now, this on Tinder. Old, this is the oldest true. I've ever heard Jared yeah, right, sound. Right? Can you help yeah. me set up yeah. my yeah. Tinder? Yeah, because, yeah because, because when I first got to Miami, I was just like, bro, I don't, I'm not meeting any women. Right? Of course. I work like a fucking dog. If you did, you'd be but, a superstar. But That's now, but now I'm meeting people. And my game, my street, my street game has gotten so much better. I didn't have a great street game back. In New York, like, your street game has to be amazing. Like, you I have to you come, like you said, dripped credit. out. Like, you got to look fly. You yeah. got to be hopping out like the 7 Series or some fly shit. And that is just seals the deal where it's like trying to talk to a woman on the street in New York is impossible. Whereas in Miami, I just walk up to a woman. I'm like, right, hey, how are Miami, you? I'm Jared. You and should give yourself like, some boom. credit though, because you're doing well. How many months you've been there? Three, almost four now. You're doing fine. And you're doing fine. Three months. Oh yeah. And I know that you're saying it's Miami. It's a little Numbers bit easier, but stacking. Yeah, you're, so, thra- you're thrashing. You're thriving. Yeah. So I'm, you're, I'm enjoying so it. So we gave you, we gave you, is that, is that his real mobile number? Yeah. That's his real mobile number. You know it by heart? Yeah. No, uh, yeah. I do that. Yeah. I, I, I know people's numbers I, by All right. Heart, let's just get it out of the air. I definitely am the worst brother. I know I am. I sleep. <laughs> I don't, I don't greet people. You're up there. You're up there. You're up there. I, I'll tell I you. definitely sleep. I don't give a shit. We're talking about this. Yeah. We're talking about this. We're talking about this. I'm grumpy Let me, let me just start. Let me just start. We're going, we're going there. Let me just start with this. Uh, right? We're going there. Da- Michael's not the worst brother. Michael's no, actually, I'm no. fun. They know. So, He's great. He's so great. I great land. Guy. I land in New York. I land in New York that on Tuesday. So on Tuesday morning, right? Right. Who gave I, you a ride? Not me. Not you. That's yeah. for sure. Dad came and picked me up. Whatever. I land at like 10 a.m. I get back to New York. Uh, I get back into Westchester. It's like it's like 11 o'clock. I go right to mom's house. I see grandma. Smells like cool shit. Yeah. Right. So not and I'm like, you know what? I'm like, all. it's dope. Let me take a walk. The weather was OK. Like I was like, I wanted to feel some of that New York cold. So I walk from mom's house to Michael's house. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I fucking, that's your first right. mistake. That that's you my first fight. Yeah, I'm like, yo, this wasn't a bad walk until I knew I had to walk back. Just like the, the walk of shame. Like my brother didn't even fucking. I didn't even open me. the goddamn right? door. I knock on the front door. Nothing. I, I knock on the window. As a bitch. I knock. Out, I knock on the window, knowing that he's sleeping in that room. The only thing that separates us is a centimeter of glass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, right? No, I was knock- on the couch. Oh, were you on the couch? Yeah. So, th- you so that means you ignored you, ignore, you ignore the door knock too. Because I knocked on the door a little bit like I was the police. No, I think like, you woke me up with your phone. With your phone, uh, yeah, with I, your phone I, call. I, I called. Bro, right? I, I can't call. tell you how I many call. times I've Yo, woken up to a Jared phone call. Listen, listen. I call. He answers the phone. You do sound like shit when you answer the phone. So I, knew I know. I was you probably fl- You probably did a flown crazy too close stream. to the sun. No, I did right? a stream until and uh, I'm like, 5 in the morning. And I'm like, yo, what's good, bro? I'm outside. And he's just like, Mad yo. sweet like that, too. Like, yeah. mad I'm sweet like, Yeah, genuine. I'm thinking, like, he's going to open the door. We're going to hug. Absolutely not. He's going to have, like, the semi, the morning semi. It's going to, like, rub no, on me a little bit. No, none of that. Dude denies me. <laughs> yo, Matumbo <laughs> just denies Dude, me. I'm imagine, like, he's like, where you at? I'm like, we're not really I'm like bitch. He's like, where you, I'm like, he's like, where you at? I'm like, bitch, I'm in front of the fucking house. Come outside. He's like, yo, bro, like, last night. I'm I just got like, yeah, I just Dude, got like, Imagine, yeah. imagine. And I'm like, yo, are you not even going to crack the door right now? Like, what the fuck is this? I, I knew yo, it, I too. I knew to it, too. House. When you left, I was like, damn, damn I should have yeah. opened the door. That was I'm fucked like, up. I'm like, bro, we haven't seen each other in like four months. Dude, imagine. But, but, imagine then I was like, but then I was like, nah, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> no, imagine it. Dude, you haven't seen your brother in four months, and yeah. he's outside your door. Yeah. And you don't even open it. Dude, didn't even open it. Didn't even shit. Didn't even, not even to the window, like crack the shade. I'm like, I see you, bro. And then you like close the room. I'll be honest with you. Open it. I was Amazing. so fucking. And here's the thing: I wasn't even frustrated at you for calling. Like, uh, I don't, why I don't, would you why be? Would you That's what, what the I'm fuck saying. did I do? No, but I'm saying I don't. I think that they think that I'm frustrated. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not thinking about shit like that right. at time. Like, and maybe that maybe that makes me like. No, you want to know no, the best? You, you want to know the but best? But I'm part? not. The, but I just I want people to know. Like, I'm never mad at anybody. No, no, I feel no, like no, you guys no, are no, like, no, damn, no. this motherfucker's mad at me. No, no I'm not, I know you're I'm not just, mad. I'm just mad at you. Just like the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just like because he used to leave towels on the floor. Just leave them. Right. And it was the well, weirdest thing ever. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, he used to leave this towels this on the floor when we were younger and not clean it up for like three days. You want to know the best but part? But I just think in his mind, he wasn't thinking, oh, I need to clean this up. So oh, in yeah. my mind, yeah, so in my mind, I'm not thinking, I don't know. It's weird. I'm the, just like, I'm so, I, you know what it is? I've been so used to being a fucking crab that I'm just used to being like, like, okay, oh, yeah, he's just going to go. That's his life. He's not going to give a fuck. The best part of this whole thing is I tell mom. But I knew where before I'm I went going. to bed, I was like,
Yo, I, the best part of it, though, is that I tell mom. Mom's like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm walking to Michael's. And you know what she says? Don't oh, do that. She goes, oh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Like, and I'm like, nah, he's going to answer the door. He's like, uh, oh. Also, like, that's why I tell girls, too. I'm like, yo, listen. <laughs> We're talking and that's cool, but Mike right is, now Mike is so I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be the most unattentive motherfucker you've ever seen in your life. I'm never gonna answer the phone. I am gonna be playing games. I'm gonna be so stuck yeah. on my couch like a fucking. Uh, you know what I said? It's, I told people if I was a spider, I'd be the brown recluse. <laughs> yeah. brown You'd be the brown recluse. You are a brown the, recluse. I'm the brown You're like recluse. you don't have to get. You don't have to be worried about getting <laughs> bit by him. You say you recluse? Need, no, 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 a recluse. Recluse. Oh, I say recluse. recluse. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about getting bit recluse, by that though. spider because he never comes around. No, he no, never comes no, around. No, no, I'm just under the They're couch. Like, you don't have to worry about killing you because you'll never see one. But they know. They know that I. They know that I know that I'm honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everyone makes, knows how I am. It, make, it makes me sad though sometimes because it'll be like, oh, oh, my, bro- my, 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 bro- <laughs> my brother doesn't want to see me. Christ, he doesn't love us. I didn't no. know that. I didn't know that. You guys don't say that shit. <laughs> yeah, because you're not, you you're don't afraid of me. You know what am I gonna? Do? I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, I might. Actually yeah, shoot yeah, you. that's fine. <laughs> Jared today. Jared today comes to get the car, and he's like. He's like trying his best. He's like, do you have the key? I'm like, no, I'll just come outside. I'll give you the key. He's like, let me just see if this key works. And at the end of the phone call, I just go, get the fuck out of my life. Let's just I, get out of my life. And, I, <laughs> 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 yeah. and, and, I saw, and Danny, yo, Danny, I don't think Danny remembers this, but a long time ago, Danny was like, bro, it's crazy. <laughs> like, you're so talented and you're so good at all these things, but you just like, <laughs> you don't even do shit. You're just at the house. He's like, yo, so many people love you, but you just like but, don't even have to do but shit. But I'll say this. If I was outside of your house that morning and said, yo, dude, I'm surrounded by like right. five dudes that want to That's the difference maker. Up, Michael's I'll, flying I'll, yeah, out. I'll yeah. kill yeah. every single person there. Yeah, if yeah. I'm like, yo, can we spend time together? I'll I miss you. He's like, no. There. And I'm like, they're trying to kill me. He's like, That's I'll That's what happened right with out. Daniel. Daniel called me during the, Ar- the Ardsley fight, and, uh, and, he, and, I was, and I was sick. And he goes, yo, I think they're going to fucking like really fuck me up there's a mad people coming and i was like oh jesus christ and i will because that's there's just there's certain things but yeah, yeah. that's so the true f- the fact that you expected anything different for is so that. naive who me yeah yeah, yeah. i, I thought i, I thought like bet- the homecoming that there was gonna be like banners and balloons not gonna happen no, no. Not gonna happen. No, no. at all. I See, don't even drive him home after podcast. No, <laughs> he's just like, yeah. Right. Well, uh, to be fair, <laughs> you drink. Just, yeah. The, to be show. fair, I do drink on the show. Yeah, yeah, after, and you can't but not even that. Right. My anxiety is bad after I drink too, and I don't want right. him to freak out because I know he has it too. Like I think about shit like that. I'm like, I don't want Danny to have a nervous reaction. And then he goes right. home, and then right. you know what I mean. Well, and then, I don't and then it goes. The energy goes to like Selena and the dog and shit. Yeah, right. And you can tell that's anxiety thinking right there. That's way too much. I don't want it. I don't want anybody else. What if I fucking pass out on the way home? I'm going to die on the way home. So, yeah. I mean, listen, I, it's not something that I wouldn't expect. Right. Right. Like, I, um, that, 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 there's no excuse for that. No, that's just you, though. That's yeah. like something yeah. like I've come to understand that to not take it personally. Like, I, if don't, just, I don't take it personally. Dude, I was here. I was here with Selena one time and I, I was like, yo, like, let's go meet Mike. And uh, I called him and he was just like, yo, like I'm sleeping. I was just oh, like, oh, yeah. When you guys were in the car. Yeah. I was like, nah, not happening, dog. I'm fucking sleeping. Yeah. Man. I'm fucking, I'm passing. I'm it. a big picker upper. I'm a big fan of the sentimental thing. Like when you yeah. moved to Miami, like I picked you up. Yeah. We did like, and I was thing. thrilled to have you there. Yeah. Cause I was scared to death, dude. Yeah. I, I'm still, you had a long I'm, time. Dude, I was scared to death. I was leaving a lot behind. It yeah. was a very, there were important things happening in my life when I left. And, you know, to be down there, like, even when I see people down there that I took care of in New York. Right. Like, it just makes me feel at home. And I express that to them all the time. Like, yeah. being here with you. Well, that's why I noticed your anxiety, too. And, do, I, and, I, and I then I was like. Anxiety and then, out the fucking. Out the, but out I feel like roof. growing up, like, I never thought you had it. Like, mine was very I think open, I've been so be- he I've knew been as an older brother I had it. it. I never knew that yeah. you had it. Though. I wish I wasn't good at concealing it because then I probably would have just dealt with it sooner. You right. know what I mean? Like, right. But I walked around being like, yeah, no, I'm good. And I was inside just like crying in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, and that's the worst thing you can do with anxiety. Like, oh, he knows. I think it, yeah. the only reason we're all alive is because we talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Honest, well, we got yeah. people around us that love honest, us and can I felt understand. so bad when he went through it, though, because he had never experienced it before. And he was going through it like at a later age. And, like, yeah. I know he was doing, like, the hospital visits and stuff. And, like, I just I felt so bad, too, because I was just like, oh, man, I know. I well, know that fear. mental fear. Yeah, yeah that fear you know that saying? he was experiencing. Right. And that's why I kind of like took a step back because he didn't reach out to me for it. He reached out to dad. And I knew in that moment, it's just like you may not want a group of supporters right now. You just want that one person you want to lean on that's going to understand you and just calm you. 
And I mean, I was in tune with dad every day. We were talking about yeah. it all the time, but I felt terrible. Not to mention, we're not the only ones. There's like a million people oh, in our trillions. family that have fucking anxiety. Yeah. Oh, dude. Forget Jesus it. Christ. It just got so, to that point where it's like, uh, you know, it's like, all right, if I'm like, my whole life changed. So like I had yeah. to do everything different. Yeah. And yeah. it just, it all hit me at once though. I wish it hit me like kind of like in waves yeah. a little bit, like every once in a while, but it was just like, yeah, nah, but you came at you like a fucking, it can't yeah. hit you like a and match. You, and you, and yeah. honestly, you were fortunate that it happened in your early thirties or late twenties at the time. Late twenties. Yeah. Where I was like, mine didn't hit me until yeah, last long, year. Yeah. Mine didn't hit me until last year where I just had like a fucking breakdown. You know yeah. what I mean? So it was like yeah. things that you should have dealt with, but. I don't know, man. We're, 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 we're fixing all still it. here. No, yeah, we're, we're all still it. here. I think we're doing more than fix. I think we're all doing great. If you fucking ask, of me. course we are. Yeah, yeah, we're all hot. Of you, you see my apartment, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I pulled up at this fucker's house, and I'm like, he doesn't live here. He's lying. He Dan fucking will be, told. Dan'll be the same person. Like, Dan'll be the same person. Like, yo, I need this him. money, bro. You've yeah. seen my fucking rent. <laughs> and yeah, I'm like, yeah. And I'll be like, but, but I'll be like, you know what? You're right though, because Danny's rent is fucking crazy. Yeah, my rent is bananas, <laughs> Foster. Um, yeah, but where you live, I guess. It, <laughs> but honestly, what you told me with the rent was for that apartment, I was actually surprised to hear that it was that. Also, yeah, no, I got a good I thought deal. It was, yeah, you I got a good deal because of COVID. Yeah. Also, yeah. I love that we could talk about this while people listen to it too, because I feel like there's a lot of people who get like, and I understand it, but they get like so offended when you bring up like rent and shit. I don't really give a. Well, I'm not going to bring up the cost, the amount, but I'm just well, saying. Well, no, like, no, no, yeah, no, not yeah. exactly. But I'm, even I'm, people who you don't know me, even want to fucking, fucking talk about it for two seconds, right. and I'm like, yeah. oh my god, oh, right. fucking and excuse I'm, me, you don't talk about fucking your rent. And I'm thrilled to see that that's where he's living. You know what I mean? Like when you look down, you guys, you don't have the older brother. Well, you do because you, yeah. Danny has Michael, and Michael has me, and you guys both have me. But when I look back and I see my brothers doing better than me. It doesn't fuck. I, I'm fucking well, thrilled. To, no, 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 no. I'm like, bro, the fact that I'm no, here's the fact that I'm pulling up to no. this place to pick up my little brother, and I'm like, here's and this motherfucker no, hasn't here's asked me for money in a minute right, on the right. con- yeah. on the con- I'm yeah. actually asking him for money when I need it. Well, you know what I mean? Be like, fair, I'm I've, good. Like, I've, my brother's I've never doing asked for right. anybody for money since I was 16 years old because I started selling weed and then I had two jobs. You've also never given anybody money, but that's also why I still have it. Yeah, that's why you have it. You don't ask for it, you don't give it. No, exactly. I saw Michael argue with himself one time about buying himself. A cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah, that's literally like, why, why you think you, sh- you deserve that's that. In my brain, every why you think day. you deserve this that's six dollar cheeseburger? Every day. I'm like, because because I'm a good dude. I'm like, yo, you Yo, need to be exactly. alone right now, bro. You want to talk to you in this cheeseburger? But, but all, yeah, we, sorry, go ahead. Let, let me say something to the camera. All yeah. right, if Michael ever has to make a big purchase, he never goes by himself. He always has to bring a, a sponsor. I went. So I went Mike, for this. Mike, I went for the chain. Mike went and bought a chain. Right, we both have Cuban link chains. And I knew okay. I was like, yo, Mike's gonna get one. Like, if he really wants something, he's gonna, he's gonna buy get it. it. Yes. He's gonna get yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. But he's making somebody come with him. Uh, yeah. I went with him. Yeah. 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 You have to sponsor him. I had to ask yeah. him. I was like, yo, should I get a gold chain at Macy's? And Danny just like laughed at me. Yeah. I was Plus, like, I didn't want my brother <laughs> like, buying a fucking a nice chain in the hood and walking out with it and fucking getting yeah, yeah, robbed yeah, yeah, like the yeah. second yeah. he walked out. So I was yeah. like, we're good. We're walking out of here. No, remember when we went there? We we were both were talking about if we got into fights, we're the kind of people like. If you're going to body me, I'm not going to take a full L. I'll bite your testicles. Yeah, me. right, yeah. Someone's face is getting I'm going to scratch your shit. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. going to fuck you up. You're like, that dude wasn't a good fighter, but he like, wasn't after, going Even down. if I got body, when they leave, they'll be like, yo, we got that motherfucker. Yeah, I gotta go Damn, that motherfucker was crazy, yeah, bro. I got to I gotta go <laughs> get a tetanus <laughs> shot. <laughs> I, would love, I would love to be able to bite someone fully. I would, right. I'll, I'll fucking do that, it right now. That's when you guys yeah. try to fight me. Yeah, how much are you offering? I'll bite both of you. All right, did you open up this page to get me started on IG? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's this show oh we um, go, yeah let's see. oh yeah right, okay so yeah, yeah i said i said it to your phone number right oh shit no 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 um it's making me nervous and you it has to be your name you can't be like fucking uh, what are the numbers what are the numbers in your email do you have any numbers i know what this is i don't want to read it out loud because then right. it gets on yeah here. yeah then i need everybody in my business yeah. at gmail is that right is that right yep and it's and it's and put an eight zero on that uh, damn, it took you mad long to read that with and those thick ass glasses. Yeah, yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah, you think with these thick ass glasses. Uh, Every, they call me goggles at work. Yo, goggles. <laughs> <laughs> they call Yo, goggles. goggles. Yeah, they I call like them, goggles. though. I didn't even fucking notice. You know that's when someone gets good glasses when you don't even fucking really even notice the change. Right. That or, people love no, them. No, that or... It's people I'm, love these or, glasses. That is I get compliments I, on them because the they're over the top. But that and also because I'm the worst brother that's ever... Yeah, seen. that's also true. You didn't <laughs> come out of your house. If yeah. you came out of your fucking house, you'd have seen my glasses. <laughs> you're, you're, you're up there. Yo, Jared yeah. fucking came over once. He goes, yo, come out. And I'm like, you know what? I'll do it this time. And we go outside and he's like, yo, let's go on the bike. And I'm like, oh, fuck me. Yeah. So we get on the bike. We go on the sawmill, dude. We went 115, we went 
Dude, I feel and like I took it easy on you, dude. I ride on I, on this bike that I, I know, have now, it's dude. Crazy I'm going that you 140 that. wherever I'm going. I wonder. We definitely have people that watch that are speed freaks too. Speed freaks. Are I'll tell you this. Crazy. I'll tell you. Dude, this. Are, you not, are you just do you're not, not do no, not yeah. You do like not, going fast? I love going. Do fast. Do not get it twisted, yeah, bro. Right. I ride. You do? I ride. Yeah, I ride my motorcycle when I know it's safe to go that speed. It's never safe to go 140 dude, you, miles per hour. Yeah, but in Florida. The roads are so smooth. And when I'm coming back up Collins late at night and everything's closed down, oh, it's, it's awesome. just me. It's the, all right. The only reason I ever oh, want to go I'm fast boogie. is because is because you don't want to die. No, it's because I want to push myself to get past like me being a bitch about it. Like do you speed in cars? Yes. I, I went a hundred. I so I went a hundred because I was like, I want to say I did a hundred. Right. Yeah. In the yeah, way. it's more like proving something to yourself. Not Dude, my, there's something not in mom and nice. dad's car. Dude, did you see the cars that I had in Miami when I was down there? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, what the, you how are you doing nuts. that? Are you just like Airbnb? They're rentals. Cars? They're rentals. Yeah, so they're rentals. like there's this app called Turo where you can get like a good price. Right. Like a yeah, nice I've heard of that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. What? That's yeah. fire. But yeah. that's Miami that? too, though, cuz that's because like that's look. like a that's like a non multi millionaire like Dude, luxury right there. You know what I mean? Miami is the king of the rental. King of the rental. Whips. Because out here, like in New York. People just Uber to where they're going. Right. When you're driving from your fly ass apartment to a fly ass restaurant, why wouldn't I run? Why wouldn't I drive over there in a five hundred thousand dollar whip? Why Dog, if I you rob? saw if you saw what the front of this restaurant looked like, what dude, people are pulling up and we're slabs, talking like Lambos, bro, Bugattis, bro. Rolls Royces, I, like, yeah, like if you like pull like, up if you like pull Dubai? up if you pull up in like a fly E class, right? Yeah. Like a fly E class Benz, which is a dope ride. Ain't like, shit. It way. ain't shit. Is not shit Bro, down there. It's these crazy. dudes, some of these dudes come in there. They, they, I'm telling you, homegirl came and picked me up in the Wraith. Yeah. She literally pulled up to my trap fucking apartment in this fucking door. I didn't even know how to get into the shit. I was like, where the fuck is the, <laughs> how do you get in? It? How right, do you got, get in? What's your username going to be? Oh, yeah. What do you want your username to be? JD Low Priori. This they no, need, this, that's so bland. This they need to know. Yeah, yeah this, this is this is what you want to. Dispute. Jared's stuck on the old AOL thing. I he wants you, to be Champagne Hova again. No, 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 oh, no. We should bring back J Champagne Hova. Yeah, you want to be no because no, they're, no, they're no, champagne, no. champagne yeah, poppy. Gotta do something. You did Drake it first. Has, you did it first though. Jared did it first though. I did do champagne. Jared was way J Champagne before, Hova. Yeah, yeah, but he spelled way, it. He spelled it way hooder and way cooler. Yeah, S H A M makes him even cooler. Was the first name P A Y N E? Was yeah, the last Drake one. spells it all the way out. Then fucking yeah. pretentious yeah, no, no, fuck. No, no, no. Champagne. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come on the six, show. Six, 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 six. Come on. I, I always say come on the show to people we know aren't watching. Come on the show, Drake. What, 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 what do I go? Obama, about? get on the show real quick. Obama no, would it? never come on the show. I don't even know. I got to think of a name. Oh god. I wish we had like a live shit where people could throw names at us. Well, you could always change your username. Yeah. So oh, I'm gonna. Say I don't want it to be too cheesy. That's a genius idea. So why don't you just have it, Jared? Why don't, you, why don't you just put it? No, we got to make it easy so people can find you. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Should it be low priori? Yeah, and I can just, just tap be, and, it's, and it's ride good. the coattails of that? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be Jared low priori. Yeah. And you could change it whenever you want. Uh, I'm going to make a password for you and I'll tell you what it is after. Uncirc 305. Un, un, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uncirc. I'm, I'm circumcised. What's, the, what's Miami area codes? 305. It is 305. 305. All right. Yeah. God, that's got to be one of the most famous ones. Well, I didn't change my. I'm never changing my number. What do you think of the most famous area codes? New York mine, is up mine, there, right? Mine. 646? No, 212. Oh, yeah, 212. I have probably, like, yeah. one of the most. Yo, know, my f- area code is one of the most sought-after area codes in America. In, in 212? Really? Yes. Crazy. Really? Nobody, you can't get I believe that. Nobody no. gives them up because now it's, like, 917. Yeah. Like right. 646. 646. 212. 347. Three, three, People hold on to those 212 numbers. Yeah. I had to pull a it's lot like of a fucking co- strings. A, yeah, I bet. For an area code. I'm just, yeah. I'm just randomly laughing at when Daniel's like, because we're afraid of you. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're fucking terrifying. Um, no, you have to go to your phone. Uh, oh, shit. My phone you have to go to your phone and check your email. Uh, can I get up now? Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go, go. Yeah. Podcast etiquette. Yeah. All right, so you know what? While we're doing that, yeah, we're gonna go ads. ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get into the ads, and then we're gonna. Uh, ADS, these are the ads. Get ready for the hair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first ad that we have today is our very special friends uh, and sponsorship partners, Hello Fresh. Fucking All right? love these dudes. All right, these guys are the best. Uh, with Hello Fresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. What? Skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, 
and affordable. I love all those things. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit, okay? HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning and grocery store trips. I hate going to the grocery store. Uh, Me too. Yeah. So you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. Try meals ready in 20 minutes or less. Lightning prep uh, Lightning prep recipes mm. and quick breakfast and lunches perfect for your busy schedule they got something for everybody all right hello fresh offers 25 plus recipes to choose from each week from vegetarian meals to craft burgers to extra special gourmet options there's something for everyone to enjoy especially when you're working with hello fresh okay all recipes are designed and tasted and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and slim uh simplicity okay HelloFresh uh, has sent us um, packs, uh, Michael and I, and I use HelloFresh every week. I don't have to worry about um, dinner anymore, but here's the other thing I don't have to worry about is money. They save me a ton of money on dinner because uh, I used to do other stuff to get food all the time, but now I just rock. Telling you right fresh. now, I couldn't believe I cooked what I cooked when they sent me. This oh stuff. yeah, they oh, took- you guys are getting this stuff. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. They send it to us. No, yeah, hook me up, beautiful. Dude. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah. it. We'll get you a coupon code. Please, yeah, we can hook you up right now. Uh, listen, Please. listen, guys. I'm, I'm I can't we- recommend HelloFresh more than anything else in the world they're so good all right so listen go to hellofresh.com slash lops 12 that's hellofresh.com slash l-o-p-s number one and two, two. 12 all right and use code lops 12 for 12 free meals what including free shipping okay that's hellofresh.com uh slash lops 12 for 12 free meals and free shipping and get ready to see, and get ready to see some scallions how do you yeah. say no to that lots you of scallions can't. i didn't it's it was not amazing it's yeah. not. It really are, are you living on it right it now bro a, yes yeah. i have two bags in my fridge right now oh, yeah i, I saw a, i yeah, saw I it I, I, no legit i looked in the fridge Dude, they I was like, everything? These guys and i will say this i hate i do hate going to the grocery store because locals small local towns the grocery store most awkward thing ever. and you like cooking I love. I do no, love I, I used to not like cooking. Now I like yeah, cooking. Right, it's it easy. It becomes so you, much more convenient. They send you these awesome, like uh, little, it's, like displays. Right. It's not like something you have to read, like word right. for word. They have like pictures of like what it should look like. It's awesome. This yeah. is all throughout the U.S. This they'll, is, they'll, th- they'll throw me. They'll throw me a couple packages out in Miami. Uh, we'll see if we could do it for you. Jesus yeah, you can send it right to your place. It comes right to your door, dog. Rub it all in um, my face. And listen. Get down with America's number one meal kit, all right? And go to HelloFresh.com slash LOPS12 and get after it, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, our next ad is from our friends over at Policy Genius. Uh, so listen, this is for the people. These are This is for, like, the homeowners. You know what I'm saying? These are for the people that really need to get after it and uh, are in the homeowner's insurance uh, department and market, okay? Here we go. April means a lot of not so fun things. Getting fooled. I got fooled on April Fools. Getting rained on. The Yankees lost. I got fooled. Uh, Getting rained on and getting your taxes done. It's a whole lot. It's very uh, stressful. So if you need a positive experience to balance it all out, consider shopping from home uh, and auto auto insurance with Policy Genius. Okay? Auto insurance, you need it. Got to have it. Policy Genius has a cover for you. Okay? Policy Genius can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. In fact, they save customers up to $1,055 per year by uh, shopping their home and auto coverage. $100 a month. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm not that smart. Getting started is easy, okay? First, head to policygenius.com and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius takes it from there. They'll compare rates from America's top insurers, from Progressive to Allstate, to find you the lowest quote. That is service, okay? The Policy Genius team will look at all the ways to maximize your savings, including bundling your home and auto policies together. If Policy Genius finds a better rate than what you're paying now, they'll switch you over for free. That's Mm. $0, sir. That's $0. All right, the kind of service has earned Policy Genius a five-star rating across over 1,000 reviews? That's a lot of reviews, dude. If you get a lot of reviews that are over five stars, you're doing something right. Yep. On Trustpilot, and Google, okay? Policy Genius can promise you that you won't leave their website feeling like a fool. They've saved customers up to uh, over $1,000 per year. Uh, and head to policy.com, uh, policygenius.com excuse me, to get started right now. That is policygenius.com. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Mm-hmm. All right? And then we have a new sponsor on the show today, New Buddies, okay? Uh, this is ExpressVPN, mm. Okay. I'm a big fan of this sponsor right here, okay? 
Uh, have I you know me some experience. Yeah, you guys were explaining it to me a little bit earlier. Well, well yeah. here's the thing. Have you ever searched for something on the internet that you don't want other people <laughs> every kno- day. knowing that you're looking every at? Every day of my life. You know, it's, uh, you know, a lot of people probably thinking, why don't you just use incognito mode? But let me tell you something. It doesn't Inc- do it. Incognito mode does not hide your activity. Mm. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every single website you visited. So weird. They could see everything. Everything that you're planning, they could see it. And they use it against people who are, who can, let's just say, use it against you. VPN is going to be important, especially while there's a lot of voting and stuff going on. Yes. Uh, yes. That's why even when I'm at home, I never go online without using ExpressVPN. You have a right to your privacy. It doesn't matter if you get your internet from Verizon or Comcast or Optimum, which we have in uh, New York here. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. I hate that so much. So much. I hate it. Stop selling my shit. They know it. All Everybody right? knows me. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't uh, see the sites you visit. And then the ISP is obviously your, you know, your internet uh, service provider. Uh, ExpressVPN also keeps all your informa- uh, information secure by encrypting 100% of your data. That's 100% with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have my ExpressVPN on. It takes nothing. It runs smooth, and they take care of my personal, uh, you know, my personal searches. I don't want people to know what I'm looking at on I the do, internet. I do almost everything on the computer. I'm going to be yeah. using ExpressVPN. Yeah, dude. All you have sure. to do is top, tap one button and you're protected, okay? ExpressVPN is available on all devices. We're talking phones, computers, even your smart TV. I don't want people to know what I'm watching, bro. Nope. nope. No way. So there's no excuse for you not to be using it, okay? So what do we have for you? Let's see. Okay. Uh, protect your online activity with VPN rated number one by CNET and Wired. Those are big CNET places. CNET boys. All right, visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash lops, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. Good That's deal. three months free on a one-year package. Good deal. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com slash lops. That's expressvpn.com slash lops. Again, E-X-P-R-E-S-S, vpn.com. Get those three months free on a one-year package. Don't let people see what you're doing on the internet. It's your right to your privacy. Yeah. Go out of the, your way and protect it, especially with ExpressVPN. All right? So go to expressvpn.com slash lops to learn more. <sighs> I love our ads. Dude, you killed that. Thanks, dude. Been doing it for a while. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Very good, um, right? he's, like a, he's like an announcer. Yes. Uh, oh, so uh, so you need the code? Yeah, I need mm-hmm. a code. Was that it? I thought we had like... Uh, uh, no. No, I just need a confirmation code, baby. All right, cool. I'm Sent to your, sent to no, your. No, no, email. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, so we uh, want everyone flooding Jared's shit. Yeah, guys. dude. Yeah, feel free. Hit him up. Okay. And I'm so. This is awesome. That you're you know what I'm gonna one. do. I'm gonna, I, you I'm know what I'm throw, excited about? I'm is throw Express VPN on here for you, please. Yeah. Because and throw that other one on there. That uh. And and so I'm throw some food on there. And you'll do like we we'll get we gotta get oh, just do shit. We don't have a, a picture of him yet. Oh no! But I'm a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tag him right now, and people can go start following him. Yeah, um, wait, it's already done. Yeah, it's already yeah, done, dude. Yeah. Crap! All right, so yep, that's wait, it. So I got to download the app now. Yeah, download yep. the app, and we're gonna oh live do it right now. I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna I'm literally gonna say everyone go follow. I'm this excited right that now. I'm gonna get like a whole bunch of new people. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Life. I'm gonna go follow you right now. Tell them not to tell them to be nice to me. You guys be nice to me. Oh, they're gonna be the best to you. Welcome tag Jared in your picture right now. Yeah, actually, this is the cutest thing we've ever done. Jared Lopiori, there he is. Oh my God, I feel reborn. I was your first follower. Oh, my him. God. It's Jason Were you? Horn. Yeah, I was. Oh, dude, that's so tight. Fuck, you be my you second. Be, you be my second. Yeah, but I didn't answer the door, so of course. Yeah, you got to be yeah, second. You got to answer the door to be number one. <laughs> yeah, you're a dick. That's, that's, just, that's just how it yeah, is. No, I'm going to block you. Oh, you're going to be the first <laughs> yeah, person yeah, I block yeah, yeah. in Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so you're like, fire. yo, I fucking message Honestly, you on I would IG. respect the move. I'm like, chill, bro. All right, I'm your second. Dude, and you never know, though, dude, man. You could just like end up being a male model. Oh, you fucked up my following. I did that for you, man. I had it at 69. Uh, I'll remove somebody. If I remove you from I'm my sorry. list and you watch the show, I'm sorry. I had that to do it for Jared. Intentional. Yeah. No, dude. So once you fine. download the app, I'll yeah. log you in because I know your password and I'll text. Oh, you know what? I'll text you the password. Here, right oh, now. Dude, I'm going to put do it do up I right, need right now. Express VPN to make Here we sure go. Ready? Watch this. It. Watch this. No, you're good. Guys. This is exciting stuff. It okay. is, right? I don't know what's going on. Ready? Watch this. Where's the app? Did you download it? I did. I'm downloading it right now. 
Yeah, dude. I'm telling you now. You're just gonna be instant thought, which is kind of hot. Dude, am I gonna wake up tomorrow with like ten thousand new friends? Uh, you'll probably wake up with a couple hundred new friends. That's yeah. fine. I'll yeah. start. We there. don't want to flex that. Yeah, much. we don't want to flex that much. We're not fucking us. Harry Styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, good dude. Oh, you met him before at the at the uh, restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Good Jared taste. meets a lot of celebrities. <laughs> Jared works at a very popular restaurant. Yeah. Mostly famously loved by LeBron and uh, Rick Ross. Right? Dude, yeah. super amounts of love from those guys. Right. We get super amounts of love from everybody, and we appreciate all the love we get. But I do like meeting just the regular people there, too. Yeah, regular people you know, are people, awesome. People out, people out just, you know, they haven't been out all this time in COVID. They're like, this is our first night yeah. out. We yep. left our kids home. We want it to be special. They're not spending a lot of money. I'm like, dude, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I because you deserve it. Because ben Gold been... pops up when you type in Jared's name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that too. That's so funny. So, guys, it's Jared Lopriori, one word. Yeah, at Jared Lopriori. J-A-R-E-D yes. uh, on Instagram. I Every, love the every, password, bro. It's everyone, so good. Everyone, right? fl- it's perfect. Perfect. everyone flood his shit. And uh, we'll see what happens by tomorrow or yes. a few days after. Uh, and like I said, you maybe you blow up into like another career. You could be like a successful sexy metal yeah. muscle. Yeah, I would say it it, be the first picture's got to be answer. your choice. It's got to be something beautiful and sexy, yeah. oh God, which is basically every picture I don't you've have ever a picture, taken. Though. No, 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 you no. Know, you know what? Find one if you want to find, find one. You know what picture I was later. thinking of because we were discussing this earlier. I what? want the picture what? of me as a baby that mom and dad have. Oh, that's a good one. I think it's I like did. little wheezy. Yeah, like, kind of yeah. did it. The like Carter. This, yeah, the Carter yeah. shit. Oh, I, have yeah. a, I have a Carter yeah. picture. You have Carter pictures too. I yes, need a Carter. I, picture. I, I mean, it's a just Carter a baby picture. picture, but his is, I think, him sitting down. Yeah, and just he, in like some eighty shit. Yeah, yeah, some old school shit. Yeah, yeah it'll I be nice. It'll picture. be nice. I like. I, I appreciate you doing. I want to. Can you refresh it? Can we see if we at least got one follower? We definitely got at least one. Let's see. How about that? Is that good? Oh, you got six six, bro. Let's go. Yeah, do it. I mean, I would be a little more sexier, maybe like now, but the well, smoking sexy. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. If you're European, do whatever you want to fucking do. Yeah, dude, it's your thing. You got profile. You have six followers. You can't scare them off there. Six followers already. Yeah, yeah, dude. Also, the other thing I want to talk about. Wait until this goes on the John Sarazian. Yeah, yeah. Don't read anybody's names on here. Oh, sorry, guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, John, I've said John's name like a million times. He did, um, he did my Morgan Freeman stuff. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, he gets love. Yeah. Go ahead. Speaking, what you no, speaking of six, did you see that bad baby made a million dollars in six hours? Dude. Yeah, yeah it's atrocious. It's weird. Also just proves yeah, that, that there's been, been a lot of people. Yeah, there's been a lot of people perving on her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Bunch oh, of pervy sure. old dudes, like yes. What about this? They were so can high. That, can that be my IG? <laughs> yeah, if that's right. what you want. Yeah, do it. Now you need a picture of yourself so people know this real. Also, right, knowing yeah. you, it should be the other way spelled around because you love yeah, weed. I do. Yeah, you love pots and pants. Pots it was a stop pots. sign. So uh, yeah, bad baby. Is yeah. it bad? It's bad baby. It, yeah, I thought it was bad because Bahabi. it's B H. I thought it was bad. Yeah, Bahabi. Yeah, I thought she. Was I didn't like know what the hell that name meant either when I first saw it. But right. she made a million dollars in six hours. Uh, I've been on the record uh, on the basement yard talking about like, damn, this girl is no talent. Um, but you know, yeah, but you liked Gucci flip flops. Oh fuck yeah, Who Gucci flip flops slaps. Gucci, Gucci flip flops. Dip it up and bit them my slaps. Yeah, that shit slaps. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, listen. Good for her. Probably didn't write it either. But I'm not this, mad at her. No, I'm mad. No, the only I'm thing that's weird is that if anyone, I'm not gonna join her. Dude, if anybody got her OnlyFans, right, on the day that she turned 18, shows you that these dudes have been yakking it to an underage. Oh, my oh, God. definitely jerking it off. Yeah, 100%. but that doesn't surprise and me It's fucking all. weird and weird and gross and weird. Uh, she it, made a million dollars in six hours off pervness. Because wow. dudes want to see her tits. Yeah, really pervy dudes. Dudes who really take the plus 18 serious. And you know in those porns they're not 18. You know what I mean? Like, those are the guys who watch 18 porn, and they're like, yeah, it's so 18. But they're like yeah. 26. But they're like 26. Yeah. They're like, oh, my yeah. God, she's wearing pigtails. Oh, yeah. Dude, did those she really make a million weird. bucks? Yes. She yeah, made six a more. Um, a million and 3,000 or something. So what's her numbers at now, then? Probably, Probably way there. more. I don't, I don't even want to look. I don't even want that. I don't even. I, I need yeah. ExpressVPN to just keep that away. <laughs> yeah, keep that away from that thing. But Express you know what? Bad there's baby. no. There's no it's knock on like, her. I'm very I'm not mad at her. Not at mad at her. No, at all. she's allowed to. She's an 18 year old woman. She can do what she wants. And I've seen some people getting mad at her doing it. Are the same people talking about protect bodies and stuff? She's 18. You guys are fine with OnlyFans, but it's weird when she gets on. I think a lot of people hate her to hate her. Also, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I definitely think her music is absolute trash. Body. I'm never going to join her OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, she definitely, it's it's definitely atrociously weird. Also, not hot. Not hot. Not to me. Not to me. Not to not, me. Not, not, yeah, yeah. 
She's but, not. But I understand she's, why she is, is hot. To a bunch of fucking John Wayne Gacy's. Yeah. So, you know, so. I, I just hope she has the right team around her and protects herself from the weirdness of the internet. I think she or does. Or she can let me some She actually money. does have a good team. Yeah, dude. They were like, oh, listen. She certainly does. She's they already crushed dude, it. She signed another Atlantic she's, deal. She yeah, made she's like, marketable. She's, she's, she's super she's, marketable. I think multi-million or almost multi-millionaire. Yeah, she's got to be up there. I mean, listen, I have no problem with anyone hopping on OnlyFans. Listen, I did an OnlyFans deal. And it was nowhere near a fucking million dollars. Did you show your D? No, I didn't show my dick. Do you I have to? Do you no, have no, no, to no, 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 no. They, they didn't. They didn't encourage. Bad me to Danny's show my penis. not what he, not what he yeah, used no, to be. Bad, guys. bad Dobby. Bad <laughs> Ben Dobby. Bad <laughs> Dobby. Bad Davy. Nobody was. And no Danny West, because he's definitely Danny West too. <laughs> yeah, I have Danny West. <laughs> he came to my chat once and just just like gave me like a hundred dollars and goes something 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 quoted himself Danny West. <laughs> it's the funniest. Oh, thing I spent ever. way more than hundred dollars. No, somewhere. that night. No, oh, yeah. not all together. Yeah, I think everyone knows. That you've done that. Oh that's, hell yeah! Dude, I just you came in crazy. recently. Gave me like fifty fucking subs or something. Though, yeah, too. I gave you like like five hundred dollars worth one night. Yeah. I think yeah. it was pretty dope. Yeah. But uh, Bad that's Baby fine. could no, give a whole bunch of money. I'm I'm all in on Bad Baby, like doing whatever she's got to do to like get get this money, especially, especially in six hours. Yeah, yeah. I've, I would I've, do that shit too. That's that's amazing though. A million dollars in six fucking but hours. But she knew Perfect. that. She's a genius. She knew is that. that she is, knew. is that record breaking shit? Yes, it's, it's the fastest. Be. It's she, the fastest million dollars made on OnlyFans. She beat ever. that other uh, on OnlyFans beat, ever or like ever. Yes. Like imagine there are some crazy no, like, I think stock she market beat deals that make you that. In but I like time. I like OnlyFans for porn stars, she and this beat is why that other weirdo though the red shit. But she but she doesn't do porn, right? She beat Bella Thorne. No, she doesn't do porn. I don't think. No, she doesn't do porn. No. Um, but porn stars use. OnlyFans, because you think about it, they cut out the middleman, right? Well, they have a middleman in OnlyFans, but they cut out doing all that stuff. They get paid just shaking that fucking ass from home. Let them shake Dude, those tits I'm around. Not mad at her, yeah, at all. You know, are you just, you're I'm, so forty right now, trying to figure out Instagram? It's Dude, fucking you see me hilarious. sweating trying to figure this out. Yeah. What's happening? Dude, you look like you just found out like weed was legal are, yesterday, also, can I and ask, you're like, I'm gonna dude, bring the sweater. Ask, out. Can I ask? Are you getting those little banners that drop a bunch dude, right now? Like crazy right now. I love that. That's nice. great. Yeah, I love great. you guys. Me and Danny are just loving our dude. Lo- <laughs> yeah, we're living. Uh, I guess vicariously through you. A yeah. lot of people are gonna want to. Thank ask you for the extra five day. people that joined. Yeah, no, like th- <laughs> thirteen people. He's got twenty followers. Let's get him to a hundred. Um, listen. So listen. We went a couple of weeks uh, without doing a Q and A. Because we were, we knew Jared was coming home, so we were yeah. trying to hold oh, it up. Oh yes, we were. We have a shit ton of the Q and As right now. Also, we should uh, let the, everyone know that they're coming up in the next one because people are fucking wanting the Q and As. Yeah, they're gonna come. Next so time. we got to let people know that they're actually. Yeah. We're so if we're gonna do Q and A Q&A with two little priori brothers. We decided we'd it. rather do it with three. Let's do it. Um. And uh, bad baby, come I'm on. I'm not gonna worry about this right yeah, now. Bad uh, baby, oh, come yo, on we show. could get. Yeah, let's get her on. <laughs> was she LA based? <laughs> Uh, she's be. probably Florida. No, she's from uh, South Florida. I think. Is she? Yeah. You want me to reach out? Oh yeah, find yeah, somebody to find her? Yeah, get bad baby. As long as, she, yell, as, long as she yells at us. Yeah, and yeah. she has to perform Gucci flip flops on me. Flip yeah. flipping my socks. And let Mike be her fucking hype man. Yeah, and I'm time. wearing and I'm wearing a crop top. Yeah, and a diaper. And a G string diaper. Yeah, and a G string diaper. And I shit myself. Yeah. All right. To um, ruin her career. Because <laughs> it sucks and her career is <coughs> Her career does not suck, apparently. Yeah, just let me some fucking money, bro. Dude. I know my apartment's nice, but fuck. Uh, this question's from Ethan, all right? First blue balls experience. Do you remember it? I like that he spelled it blue bells. By yeah, yeah. Ethan, you're an idiot. First blue bells. I love you, Ethan, but you're an idiot. Isn't that like a mental health thing, blue bell? I do I remember. Like I do remember blue, my first sex. like ser- like Disease. painfully memorable blue balls. I got Talk a great about one too. Talk yeah. about. So um, I'm out somewhere, probably early twenties, and uh, get my grind on with this young lady that didn't really want to like put out, but she was with it, but she wasn't with it, and uh, fully loaded at that time. You know what I mean? Um, was that what do you mean? Like me, I was ready to go. Oh, you were ready? To yeah, fuck. yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. it was just like nonstop. And I remember leaving and being like, "Oh my god, I'm in such pain." I had to leave quickly because her old man was coming home. Her dad was coming home, um, and you know she was just like, "Yo, you got to get out of here." And I left, and I was just like, "Oh my god, this is dreadful." But I went home and had to take care of myself. And I remember being so impressed with the ropes. That I was shooting, yeah. Because it's like it's like so it's like hitting a hammer much. on a fucking yeah, yeah, pipeline yeah. with water, dude. Going through and it, it was just like, and I everywhere. remember just being like, "This is never gonna end." Yeah, you had a man squirt. Yeah, and what made it worse is that I don't think that girl and I ever sealed the deal. 
I think I, same. Yeah, I I never got back to her after that. I was pretty pissed off about it. Yeah, but you, were, you finished. You so, were done at that. Yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. At that point, I was just like, yeah, so mine real my senses. real quick. Almost same thing was uh, got Dreadful. with someone, got with someone. Shout out to her. We're still friends, friends. Uh, but this is a long time ago. Got with her and uh, balls were absolutely swollen uh, and uh, throbbing. Hot. And uh, I had to be home because in the morning, me and dad had to go somewhere. And I, and it was at the age in high school where, like, if I miss it, dad would have probably just, like, flipped out and beat my ass. Right. So, like, I was just like, okay, I got to I gotta, I gotta go. I got to get there soon. So we were together and we didn't sleep together either, obviously. I had to go home and ride a bike with the hardest blue balls. I've what? Ever had in my life. Oh. You rode home? My balls were just smacking each other like bike. swollen, uh, fucking ripe coconuts. Uh. While I'm riding the bike, I could have walked, but I, I didn't want to walk it. with the bike on my side. So I just rode it home and I had to like stay up. And even when I got up, my oh, balls were just dreadful. like, they weren't even swinging. They were just like hard and stuck oh, in the yeah, same yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that Pain. build up. You yeah, get yeah, that yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. That tight coin. I didn't know. Blue, I didn't know blue balls were real until like it happened. You I thought. It. I thought it was yeah. like a thing. I thought dude, it was when like you get insane. riled up and you can't unleash. Oh yeah, your dude, your balls start speaking to you. It's just not healthy. Yeah, you got to let your man. Clean and they're just out. like, come yeah. on, squirt out, Ooh. squirt it, squirt. Ropes. Yeah, yeah, you shoot yeah. fucking Peter yeah. Parker. It's absolutely it's frozen. Bro. I could have went shooting through the fucking downtown. No, it's Manhattan like it's more like yeah, it's like it's like a leak. It's more like a leak too. Oh, I had to go after it as again. As soon as you start thinking that. about touching yourself, you just start just to sl- empty the tank, yeah. dripping everywhere. Oh, you could pr- that's the closest you could probably get to a no hands ejac for sure. God, I love yeah. this tasteless podcast. Yeah, yeah Colin tasteless. Anderson wants to know, Mike. My wife wants to know if you're single. Uh, at the moment, yes. Yes, yeah, so so yeah. Colin, right. tell your wife to chill. Zach, Lara, can we get content of you guys opening Pokemon cards? I miss Danny doing that on IG. We yeah, really content. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll we'll do it. Fucking pack we'll all do it. Pokemon we'll cards do it. on here. Danny's opening was hilarious. We'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rebecca Abdo, we got to split money on an expensive one though. Yeah, Are we got down yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah. yeah, we'll buy like one of the series ones. I'll split it. I swear to God. All right, all right. I have to take the worst piss ever. All right, go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Podcast etiquette. Yeah. Uh, not exactly a question, but right. not exactly a question. Not exactly a question, but last week you answered my question, said my last name correctly. Nobody has been able to say uh, my last name correctly. Dude. At high school graduation, they called me the Rebecca Ab- Abdobo. Adobo, like the sucking uh, s- uh, seasoning. Have you guys yeah. ever had someone mispronounce your last name? Everybody in the world does. That was the most rhetorical question I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, Everyone, Rebecca. <laughs> absolutely everybody. No Lo, one gets it. Lopriore, Loprior. I got Lopresti. Lopro- I got Lopresti once. Yeah, Loprorier. Yeah, they always fucking pronounce that one shit One of my wrong. gym teachers called me, like, Lopez. It was terrible. Uh, so, yes. Also, Adobo always, to me, sounds like the Spanish cheaper version of Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> And there's only like a you few, got, uh, you got only like a few room. features. Yeah. You got Lightroom, you got a Photoshop, <laughs> you got a, a yeah, you, you got, got a, a digital you one. Got, you got a filter to you change the thing to cut saturation. You gotta turn down the opacity. You gotta turn down opacity, make that as a saturation. Yeah, we got everything you need in Adobe Photoshop. But yes, Adobe every day. So, yes, Adobe. Um <laughs> Brianna Feds wants to know if you guys woke up in each other's bodies, what would we do first thing? I'd probably, yeah, yeah. I would J with Danny's D, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I just want to feel how yours would feel in my hand. Me too. Brotherly love. love. Yeah. I would J it immediately. One hundred percent. I would t- immediately look at his dick. Yeah, because um, it's been a while. We've seen it a million times when we were younger, but yeah. it has been a while. I, 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 I miss it. I haven't seen your grown man cock in years. Yeah, I miss it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen your grown man dick in years. We shared a j- room until we were grown ass men too, so we know we've seen oh, it. Yeah. I've seen Jared's grown man dick. He came yeah. home and didn't know I was there and was really drunk and got naked. And Same thing. Yeah. I caught him while he was Jane and I, t- I came up on the porch and he was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And I was like, was I Jane it on the porch? You were about to. No, but that would have been fire. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Out, <laughs> outdoors. Outside, looking at the stars. Yeah. I didn't wash my hands just so you guys know. <laughs> I was like, also, I was like, damn, how do you change? Jared's like, I just love looking at stars. Nothing beats so outdoor hard. jerks. Outdoor jerks are <laughs> otherworldly. You come outdoor so jerks? hard. You, you come never so done an outdoor jerk? I've done outdoor Chick, like that. I'll that to my friends right now. I did it all on Cumberland Island yeah. on the beach while they went to sleep. I what was, what was the question I missed though? If I woke up in your body, in yes. each other's bodies, what was the first thing oh, you would do? Passing that penis. child support quick. <laughs> yeah, you know, hold that so you <laughs> right can feel my pain. Yeah, right over to you. You're gonna be like, yo, why is my chase keep getting ripped for like this much money? Yeah, why like, am I getting I evicted? <laughs> yeah, would you just do Q and A's for like fucking? I'm down. Yeah, yeah let's let's keep doing that. Spencer Spencer Purdue, y'all's favorite wing sauce and dipping sauce. Dipping also. Favorite party snack. Mine has to be a good chip and Ooh. dip. 
Uh, I like a I like a layered cheese dip. I always fuck with those hard mm. bots karats. Um, but my favorite wing sauce is definitely hot teriyaki from fucking Candlelight. Fire! It's the fucking best. And is it hot, sauce, it's teriyaki. Hot. I always call it teriyaki hot. No, I, I call it hot teriyaki. Do you think they go more on the hot? They yes. Use, use yes. hot yeah, first. Yeah, they make sure that yeah, it is. Yeah, I, like more I haven't had it in a long time, but it always that. was. I kind of yeah. want it. Oh, now. and those French fries with the jalapeno cheese. Oh, God. Um, and, my, and I use uh, blue cheese. My favorite wing sauce is Cajun. Cajun from fucking. I know everyone makes fun of Wingstop, but Cajun wing sauce. Wingstop's fire. Is it good Cajun, stuff? Cajun wing sauce uh, yes. is is probably my favorite. I don't I don't like doing traditional anymore. Gross. Oh my god, mango habanero too. Habaneros. So yeah, habaneros. Um, and my favorite dipping sauce is also ranch. Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah. what's your favorite party snack? You didn't say that. Oh, my favorite party snack. Uh, I do like a dip, but yo, you know what I've really been into? You know, like those Japanese like panda bear cookies. That, no, that, no, are, that have chocolate no. in the middle. Yeah, such an underrated fucking snack. Can you send so me one one time? Good. Yeah, you never seen Hello Pandas? No. Look at these Hello Pandas. Oh my this. god, they're so good. These ones. What? What is that? You never seen Hello Pandas before? <laughs> these little things. Like, I just want to say Danny's thickness is showing so real oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, Because yeah. I've never. Because Danny's knowing shit that I've never even. Seen. All right, where did you first try this? I have to know the story of this. Uh, I, it's only sold in like bougie, like fucking. Uh, like, okay. Uh. I guess supermarkets. I guess yeah. Trader Joe's never, is a supermarket. Never have yeah, I yeah. seen that. These things are so fucking good. What's They're it out of this with? world? Chocolate, 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 oh. chocolate, chocolate creme. Yeah, yeah. That, get get Hello Pandas. They have yeah. matcha ones, which are actually pretty good. Fuck, I want to try. They look like matcha? little chocolate biscuits, dude. Hello Panda, send me a bunch of shit, yeah. please, for love of God. Everyone, go tag Hello Panda and tell them to. Send yeah, me tell them to send it. Yeah. I mean, me. I want to try these. Or if you get them, I'll bring them. I'll me. bring you some Hello Pandas next week. They are. Oh, fab. can we do a live? Uh, what's it called? Taste, uh, taste mukbang. Taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll mukbang them hard. Let's mukbang it. Yeah, I'll mukbang the shit out of you, Jared. Yeah, yeah. What about yours? You, you, you like hot teriyaks too? I love ha- hot teriyaks from the same establishment. Candlelight has always been good to me. <sighs> it was this time where the candlelight wings were were off. Yeah, like in their size, but then it went back to it. So I'm a I'm a I'm a, fo- I'm a believer again. Um, favorite party like snack? snack? Yeah, man, I don't know. I go probably regular with just like some Tostitos and just dipping for something flavorful. I need a I, layered cheese. I, I need a layered dip. I, I need do, a layer. I just dip. do a reg- I do a regular chip and dip. Super yeah. easy. Tostitos, a hot salsa. I'm, I'm yeah, fine. I'm in. Uh, do y'all remember? This is from annoyed Ed. Annoyed, annoyed mofo. Annoyed. Sorry, I'm yes, annoyed mofo. Stupid. Annoyed, annoyed mofo. <laughs> annoyed Ed mofo. <laughs> yeah. That's an annoyed mofo. That name annoyed me. Uh, do y'all remember any forgotten TV shows that you used to watch? Like for instance, on Comedy Central late night, I watched Strangers with Candy, Son of the Beach, and Strip Mall. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Space goes coast for coast. Space Ooh. goes coast, coast to coast. coast. Coast to coast. My yeah, favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite shows. Definitely Fucking forgotten, back. but a banger. Yeah, I'll tell back. you what was forgotten is. Um, was Neon Flux on Liquid Television. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. With yeah. the fly in her eye? Talk dude. about jerking. Dude. 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 Oh, early so jerk. That was the early first, jerk session. That was my Neon first. Flux. Yeah. Yo, Neon Flux. Is it Flux Neon is like, or Aeon Flux? No, it was Neon Flux. It was Neon Flux. Yeah, let's look it up. Yeah, look I it think up. it's Aeon Flux. MTV, Liquid Television. Definitely Neon anime type Flux. of shit. Like, yeah, I it's, hadn't it's, seen that yet. Oh, it's yeah, it's Aeon oh, Flux. Aeon Flux. Flux. Aeon Flux. And then yes. Charlize Theron played her. Yes, yeah. later on. Yeah. yeah. Dude, what a fucking name drop. Was it on Dude. MTV? It was Charlize? Liquid Television. Yeah. Charlize uh, Theron? MTV. Uh, and it was uh, only on Theron late night. Great. And it was porn based shit. Like, Super big tits. Yeah, yeah, I remember looking gross. at that being like, bro, I should not um, be watching this. I hope yeah. mom doesn't What's, watch yeah. it. What was yours? Um, It's not exactly a show, um, but. That probably makes it better, actually. Do me. you do you remember on like Halloween on Nickelodeon where like kids would call up and they would be like running door to door? It was like digital. No, what the fuck? Oh, is that? All right, let me show you. Let me show you. They used to be like, oh my god, it's like uh, door number three, and they would run to like these creepy Halloween shit. Shit, maybe I have to see this first. Yeah, it, once you see it, uh, yeah, I feel like if it was on Nickelodeon, I was involved at some point. Up uh, until like a yeah, because ago. you watched with us. Watched a lot. Till later there was a on. lot of stuff that rolled. Yeah, it was over. called it was called Nick or Treat. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it was called Nick or Treat. Um, and here we go. I think it's connected to the Rocaster. Uh, but this was it. It was this guy. Uh, you might yeah. remember it. Hi, how are you, Hunch person here? I don't remember oh, this. Watch. No. How do you remember? So a kid would call in. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the kid's like three. That scare me. 
Okay, take a look. We got six houses, monsters, and some prizes. And Don't others. You got 40 this. seconds. Where's Every the Halloween, I tried to call in. They would never okay, let let's me. Let's go. Go down, pump it down. Oh the my street. god, I Go do down. remember this, yeah. bro. The ghost. Then take a right, hang a right there, and then press the doorbell. Oh, you have to press your phone. Home video by Sony Wonder is yours. All right, where to next? So you would just win Three. the gifts. Three, what? okay, a state of shock. I do oh, remember this, Danny. Yeah. Holy shit, I what forgot about this, this dude. One. This is early uh, 90s. Okay. Yeah, or very early press 90s. The I feel like I'm playing Doom. Oh, that's the chick from uh, Ah Real Monsters. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was a like dildo and a broomstick. I always yeah. tried to call in. Striped and dad, dildo. Dad would never lipstick. let me do it. <laughs> yeah, she did look like a fucking striped dildo. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude, what a name. Who's that guy that used to hold his eyes? Oh. Uh, Crumb. Grum, Grum, Crumb, Crumb. Yeah, Crumb yeah. was cool. Dude, Crumb Mike was awesome. Nailed that. I liked Crumb yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah I remember. That. I remember. You, were, you couldn't wait for somebody to yeah. ask you that question. Yeah. I would uh, definitely answer the door if he came over. Yeah, yeah no, you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, what are your top five? I'm not coming out, dickhead. <laughs> yeah. What, what are your? Go back to your house. <laughs> house six. Hello. Mike? Yeah, I don't have shit. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so great if I was in that. Go to house six and be like, yeah. I wouldn't even answer the door. Mike's uh, like, wait, sure. do I have to leave my you house just, to you do You just this? ring the doorbell and then there's nothing. Uh, <laughs> what are your top five video games of all time? I mean, oh, baby. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, I'll let you guys get yeah, it. Th- yeah, you're not a big video game guy. I uh, was. Yeah, he, he, until, I started lose, until I started losing to you guys, and I was like, fuck this. I need Street to Fighter Alpha sex. 3 is my favorite right. uh, game, probably. Right. Uh, Metal Gear... Uh, no, solid three, Metal Gear Solid the original, um, and then a more of an arcade I'll based game. Uh, I'll allow it. Teenagers in time. Uh, Turtles in time. Turtles in time. Teenagers in time sounds like a porno. Yeah, wait till you see what I got later, sir. Yeah, Turtles oh, in time. Second. Turtles in time. Shit, and then anywhere. I'm gonna go with uh, number five. <laughs> number five. I would probably have to say. It's probably along the lines of, um, I don't want to say one of the Uncharted's, but I really love the Uncharted. Why not? They're fucking yeah. great yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want. Probably That's a great game. Uncharted game. Among Thieves. Right. I like that one a lot. Is that the second one? Yeah, the second one. I like the second one a lot. All right, my top five. You guys can tell how nerdy I am because I answered. I said that so fast. Uh, I would have to go with Metal Gear Solid being my first ever favorite of all time. Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, sn- uh, I'm not gonna say another Metal Gear. So Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, um, uh, Last of Us has to be up there, man. Yeah. Absolutely, Last just an amazing Us, game. Yeah. Uh, the first one because it was just like un- I've never seen a game like that. It was like a movie. So you said a Naughty Dog. I said a Naughty Dog. Uh, and the last two for me are my favorite games ever. Has to be Fallout Three. And then, oh, Bloodborne, my favorite, one of my favorite games nice, of all time. Nice. I've got, I mean, I don't Coleco know. Vision. Yeah, I've got Pong. My, yeah, uh, Pong was up there. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> no. Um, Minesweeper. I'll put up there first was Twisted Metal. Was Great game. Woo! Great game. That's very uh, good drop. Right. I'll put up there Game Day 98. Don't even know that. Game Day 98 was like the football game before Madden blew up. Damn, so before yeah. Madden. Bef- what was that Ma- on? Super Nintendo? It was on NES. Yeah, it was yeah. on Super NES. Tecmo. Um, Killer Instinct for Fire Nintendo drop, 64. Fire drop. Combo Jack- Breaker. Jack- going fucking, right? That's- well, I'm older, so I get to. Ultra I get to, Combo. Right? Um, I def- uh, yeah, I definitely put up. I don't know what, what Street Fighter was it that like Akuma made his first appearance in. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. So I'd say that's up there as well. What's that? Three, four. That's four. Yep. Um, and then I'd put in. Oh, man, remember F Zero? Yes. Yeah, yeah. For Hell Super yeah. Nintendo. Nintendo. Yes. It's games that I played. I a lot. just sold that the other day yeah. for for Jimmy. But I'd say Killer Instinct was amazing. Killer yeah, Instinct I loved Killer Instinct a as a great kid. Fucking yeah. game. Yeah. I used to play with Wally all the time. And you know there was a newer version that dropped yeah. like four years ago, right? Six, uh, five years ago. Really? No shit. Come on. Ultra Combo Breaker. I love the Combo Breaker. Dude, you need to do that more. That ability is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, here we go. Um, like those, right? You didn't expect me to drop. No, that was very good. Yeah, you surprised me. God, we're twins. Yeah, it's weird. Right, Sadie ahead. Augustine. I work in a hotel as a housekeeper, mm. and I was wondering if you guys have ever seen or yes. experienced anything weird at a hotel. I have many weird things uh, working at one. Yeah, I've had mad weird hotel experiences. Um, one time, yo, you have to hear. Have you ever heard Selena's sister story about a hotel? No. I, what was All she right. So I had a hotel story once where uh, I went into a hotel room, right? 
It was completely clean when I got there. I went out, came back to the hotel, and it was fucking trashed. Really? And people, nobody stole anything, but people were in my room. How long were you gone? Like, I don't know, like nine hours. Oh, uh, so you like checked in and then just went out and did whatever you're yeah, doing. Yeah, and then I came back to like go to sleep and people were fucking <laughs> in there. <coughs> like when you got back, they were still there? No, everyone left. There was people that have been in my hotel. They, they were, probably were just they wasted left, partying in your room left, thinking it was they theirs. They left drinks behind. They left garbage behind. Rubbers? No. Use rubbers? No, there's, the bed was like relatively untouched, but people were in there. There was people in my room around my things. Yeah. My weirdest story is I, I, was, I was at a motel um, doing the do, and I left and came back, and my key opened up the door next to the room that I was actually checked in and walked in on two people just getting it in. Thrashing. Did you ask to join? Damn. No. The fucking dude hopped up, and he was a big motherfucker. He's and he kill was going to kill you. Dude wanted to kill me, and I was just like, bro, I'm in the wrong room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's like, it's not that weird, but it was in the moment. It was fucking up. Because I immediately walked in and was like, yo, is the girl that I'm with fucking some other dude right now? I left for like three seconds. What a whore. Holy crap. Yeah. And I walked in. My key unlocked the room next to mine. Which is like, why the fuck would that happen? Was this at the Apple Motor Inn? Yes. Yeah, I knew it. I don't yeah, have anything damn. weird, but he he knew I, it. Yep. I don't have anything like weird, Motor. but uh, I got some in the Apple shout Motor. out to the Apple Dude. Motor. Bang, bang. I don't have anything weird, but uh, we were used to call uh, it the Rotten Apple. Upstate in a hotel, me and uh, the lead singer of Panic at the Disco fucking trashed a fucking hotel room sober because we just thought it was funny right. to do it sober. And I'm sure it's probably clean <laughs> it afterwards, but like we just threw like chips on the ground, like nothing crazy chips on the ground. And like there were these little like fucking powdered like prunes or grapes or something that were disgusting. And we were just like fucking throwing them at the wall and just breaking shit and like fucking shit up. And Panic I'm pretty sure hotel room. Yeah, it was panic at the hotel room. That I mean, I, I've never, I don't really go to hotels that much, to be honest. I've never had anything weird happen to me. In a you hotel know what's room. so funny is like, and every time like, I have, it's been normal. Every time I've done that, like, no girls have ever been against it. Like, there's something cool about going to a motel, it's, knowing it's, it's, that it's, it's it's like mischievous, knowing it's like yeah, dark, yeah, knowing that the motive is just to have sex in it's a bed. Way better room. when the hotel's nice, though, because yeah. I've been to some trashy hotels. That yeah, smell like but, no, dick. but so, but something adds to it when it's trashy because you know you're in the realm, in the fuck zone, you're in the coliseum, yeah. right? So you can fucking. bang like a beast and no one cares. Yeah, it's going to get right. Everyone there is having sex, like too. Like, if I so bring like you there, it's not to impress you. It's to undress you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, We're yeah. going to do it. And caress oh, you with like permission. With permission. With permission. With permission. Yeah, with permission. Uh, uh, also, take me. Dude, no, sometimes. but take Selena's... Take me. Selena's sister's friend was, like, a a hostess. Okay. Like, an airline hostess. Yes. Is that what they're called? I guess. No, I that would be a stewardess. Stewardess, yes. There, thank you. Yes. There we go. Yeah! Smart people. It's all good. But also, why? Right. Anyway, continue. But um, steward. she works obviously a lot, so they stay in hotels when yep. they when they when they land. Right. So she stayed there. They slept there, and the next morning, uh, they were like, "Hey, like we're ready to go. Like the shuttle's here to like take us, uh, to a place." Um, and she's like, "Yo, like I can't find my shoe. One shoe's missing. She can't find it." And um. Everyone's like, yo, like, what are you talking about? He's like, yo, like, this is my only shoe. I can't fucking find it. Right. It's, I don't know where it is, like, yeah. in this room. Everyone that she worked with came up to help her look for her shoe because they have to be at this flight, right? Couldn't find it. It's going to be some weirdo. So she, they're like, yo, I can't find it. They're looking around, like, you know, under the bed or whatever in the bathroom. They open a dresser drawer, one of the drawers in there, and it's the fucking shoe with a note in it. And the note said, it was a pleasure watching you sleep last night. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's a real fucking story. That really happened. I told that story in the basement yard, too. What a legend. Bro, that <laughs> is <laughs> fucked up. No, that is fucking weird, dude. Yeah, bro. Yo, that gave me chills, dude. Yep. No one ever said, hey, it was a joke, anything like that? Nope, no one ever said that. Was she with? What? She was, wait, was she? She wasn't with anyone. She wasn't doing anything. She was... Right, and the whole point you know, of a joke is to eventually idea. let you know it's a joke. So obviously, it was someone that was watching. There was voyeurism. The yeah. whole, yeah, the whole idea of someone being in a room while I'm sleeping that I don't know. Wait, someone was fucking in that bitch. Yeah, dude, someone was in there watching her sleep, bro. Bro, that's fucking. That's why they creepy. tell you, like, with girls, especially females, if when you, you get in your car, always look in the back seat, and right. then if you check into a hotel, always look under the bed and in the closets. Clear the room first. What? But a lot of people, what they do is they see people go to certain rooms and they'll be like, hey, like, I know this girl 
uh, we work together. Can I? Yeah, what's, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. someone so, dumb that works? It'll be like, go right. on ahead. But a lot of people sometimes they find ways to get like master keys. So they just go. That's what I thought that, that go, day yeah. that they gave me a master key that just by accidentally and the key just because I tried to open up a door next to mine after that shit happened and it opened up that door too. That is the opposite of with permission. No, Dude. that is so without permission. There's but, no permission but in sight. He did give her the shoe back. Yeah, she got her shoe back. She went to work. It was that fine. Is so without that permission. is yeah. fucking crazy. This is from a uh, nudes to my dad. Ugh. Which of these two shitty superpowers <laughs> would you rather have? You willing? You willingly change tortilla chips back to, into tortillas. Uh, nope, don't when, want when you fart, a random person in the world can hear you fart. That. I want that. Oh, yeah. yeah it already happens every day. I just want someone in, like, fucking Malaysia to hear me yeah. rip ass. Skabon yeah, I want to do that, too. Yeah. I want to do that. I want to do that, too. Farp. Yeah. yeah that, fuck tortilla chips. I, I want to f- fart in someone's I face. I love how the scale was so different. It was yeah. so vast. It's like, that. would you rather, like, drink cream soda or shit in your dad's face? Yeah, I'm just like, ah, neither. Um, Heather F. wants to know, if you guys have kids together, brotherly love, what kind of parenting style do you think you'll have? Jared has two. And uh, his parenting style is his own, so I don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, well, let him say it. What's, yeah. what's your parenting style? My parenting style is to be as young and hip and wise at the same time. Like I to see feel, that. To feel relevant. You say that's it, fat? I, I see that. see that. Oh, yeah. I thought you go, that's fat. Like, what? I was no, like, I've what? been working out. <laughs> For fucking years. I, yeah, that's, that's, like, that's been my it. approach to my kids. That's it's so just fat. like, how do I stay <laughs> relevant? I don't even think old people say that's fat anymore. <laughs> 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 Bro, that's so fat of you. How do I say relevant to where you feel like you can, we can understand each other? And then how do I also keep a place of like supervisional kind of like presence? Well, then you kind, right. of, you kind of fall into like uh, the friend zone, right? Well, it's, well, it's that's, hard. Yeah, it's it tough. is. It is tough to fall into the friend zone. But the thing is that falling into a friend zone with your children makes them feel safe. Yeah. Whereas like falling into a friend zone with a woman, you get nothing. Right. Right. Except just a friend. Yeah. And I don't need more friends. Um, right. I think yeah. I, I think I yeah, will I've be. I think I'll be super honest. I think I'll be bl- very blunt. I'll be very loving, but right. also like if you do anything to hyper disrespect me, I'm smacking yeah. that butt. Right. Well, hundred uh, percent smacking that butt. Yeah. I just I just don't want my kids to make any like the, the mistakes that I made. Like they're doing good in school, regardless if they're it's gonna right. be fucking torture, pulling right. teeth. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm making sure that you go to fucking school. Yes. Also, just like, yeah, I would want you to be smart enough so that you could own the fucking country. Like, own the country. Yeah. It's right. going to be against you anyway. I made my life so much harder by being a fucking asshole in school. It's not even close. Yeah, I would definitely want them to do better. Yeah. So, I would go with the... I think I would be wise, too, hit them with the wisest. But I want to be there all the time because once I have a kid, that's it. I know that I'm set, you know? Yeah. I would be this, I think I'd be the same way Jared is. Yeah. Being, being, a, being a parent, I think for me, like, one of my... My best attributes was just not freaking out when they tell me yeah. crazy shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. I remember just talking like to dad. I was a kid. I remember talking to dad and being like, "That's hard to do." Yeah, it is, especially like when you have daughters or not. You know, now I have a son. It's just kind of like, you know, y- your kids come to you and it's like, "I'm going to say this and this and this," and you just got to be like, "All right, well, um, let me just think about this for a moment because the traditional way of thinking, I want to just yell at you, but I'm not going to yell at you because I know you're probably just going to be freak out." So you kind of just like, all right, yeah, let's. I, I remember talking to dad. Like, I would say bad shit that I did to dad. He'd be like, ah, what are you going to do? You know, like, it's life sometimes. Yeah, dad's shit. big. What are you going to do, guys? Yeah, it's like, ah, what are you going to do? It's all good. And you're like, you hungry? You want something to eat? Like, I would say something to mom that was just like small scale. I'd be like, oh, yeah. And she'd be like, well, I'll, I'll fucking kill you. you know, yeah. Like, yeah. I never told so, mom yeah. anything big ever. Yeah, because yeah. she would freak out. Yeah. You, you know, little you know, motherfuckers. Like, yeah, yeah. She's like, you're fucking, yeah, they're going to take me to fucking jail. And I'm like, God, after you hurt me, yeah, I'm going to yeah. call the cops on you. But, uh, um, yeah, that, love that you, was it. Love yeah, come on the show. Yeah, come on the show, mom. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> she's right up the street. <laughs> Me Brian, and just gonna keep doing that. Brian Mori, yeah, until it works. Brian Mori, was there ever a moment when you turned and looked at your brother different? Like, damn, that's my homie. Probably when we first drank beers together. All right. Yeah, it's kind of like a cool moment. It's like, oh, cool, I'm accepted now. We're we're friends. Well, yeah. I'm a shit brother, so never. Never. No, yeah. um, I think the one time I said that was when. Um, <sighs> I got to say it's when Danny really started doing really well on like the internet for himself Yeah. because actually, no, 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 that's not true. When Danny was, no, the first time I ever was like, damn, that's my homie uh, was I went to a game for one of Danny's football games. Uh, and, and I, and I had heard people talking shit about him all the time, but I always had that older brother thing. Like, nah, let me see it first. 
And I, I went to a game and like Danny was like that like was the real killing it like the real yeah, like was actually just it. like fucking up all these other fucking kids yeah. on the on the team like no matter who, like who it was or what town they were from and it was very natural it was the same way I was natural I think when I played ball and Danny was like damn I wish I had that natural like athleticness to play but Danny looked really good on the oh, so hot in those pants yeah. but he looked he looked just very athletic and good on the yeah. field and I was like better damn. Than I, yeah I was like damn Danny like, could damn, play like Danny's I think Danny's gonna, gonna play like no I there were points I was like damn I think my brother's gonna play D1 right uh and it was very I was like oh shit Danny's like that I think that's and it didn't have to be that he had to prove himself ever because I didn't want him to he probably felt that way but at the same time like when I saw Danny play football for the first time, I was like, "Damn, this kid is the truth." This yeah, is not, this I think nasty. I think for me, it's like when I, like I would brag when, about it. when nice. I would meet people. I, when I when He's I was gonna go to sleep tonight with like yeah. with music on, just, just like fucking finally. football jersey yeah. on. I, I, yeah, I have blue, like I have blue balls it. right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think no hands, E Jack. Right here. I mean, I always knew you, I always knew you guys were homies. I think I think when I was like when I would meet other people that met you. And they would be like, yo, I met your brother Michael and your brother Danny and they're fucking awesome. And da, da, da. I was just like, I was always proud of that. You because did I was, that even when we were younger, though. You were so proud to bring us to your oh, friends I always when we were young. You guys around. I think for, for Michael, when you when you started to take off on Vine and shit, I yeah. was so happy for you. When I saw them writing articles about you, I was just like, I, I, I guess that's like, it wasn't really like homie because I always felt like we were homies. Of course. But I, I get, think I like get the, hearing, I like that hearing, hear, like hearing, seeing that and like the, like the publicity that you were getting and just like watching you make people laugh. And then it's like, also sometimes I'll look at those videos and be like, I was the person like recording when that happened, like yeah. how fucking dope it was. Exactly. And I think, yeah. and I think for Danny, when I heard Danny's lyrical Fruit skills, Ninja. Yeah, when he was when I heard around. Danny's lyrical skills, <laughs> I remember being like, "Holy shit!" Like, yo, Danny's fucking nice, bro. And 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 I and I was like, I was like in those moments of being proud of you guys. But I think before that, like, we always got along that way. Like, we were always, we were always like, I was just like, I can't wait till these dudes are older and we can get fucked up together. We didn't start getting <laughs> fucked up together until much later, though. Yeah, yeah, right. Like but you, you guys were very were welcoming 20s. when you did it. I remember, yeah. like you were yeah, like, I got really drunk at Jared's twenty first birthday party. By yeah, accident. yeah, by accident. Yeah. And you were like, what? You were like fucking twelve or twelve or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by dad accident, did a keg stand. Though. Remember, dad did yeah, a keg dad stand. Yeah, dad did a keg stand. Oh, Big keg Dan, stand. Holy shout shit. out. Yo, yo, what's is that? Daddy chill. Daddy, Daddy chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice. Big Dan did a keg stand. He was like, what's a keg stand? We're like, grab his legs. Threw Big Dan over the fucking. Threw, this, threw him over this, the very the, big the, man. Yeah, threw him over the aluminum barrel. He did good. How much did, he did a very good? How much did Dad stand. weigh? Like in his prime, like young. You think like Dad in his prime? No, yeah, Dad really? in his Dad in his dude. Dad had fucking wheels. Yo, he was fast as dad shit. Dad was fast as shit, and Dad could shoot the Jimmy. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He brought that shit all the way back, dude. Here. Water. Yeah. And I remember, I remember going somewhere and bowling with Dad once. He's and got people, basketball and, and wounds people, too. And I'm, just, and I'm just like, yo, Dad balls. But I remember racing him. As a kid, because we were all we're all athletically like yeah. inclined. I yeah. mean, not so much as as I'm getting older. Like I still feel like at 41, you know, I'll be 41 at the end of this month. It's like I still could move around pretty well. But like I remember watching Dad run and being like, he's like a gazelle. Yeah, yeah. He was fast as shit. And I remember we would race and we would fucking just take off on me. And I'm like, damn, he couldn't. He couldn't. Yeah, he, he'd, he'd be like, super into it too. He'd be like, all right, let's go. Yeah, and let's da- go. And Dad's very like. Yeah. He doesn't have that competitive like aggressiveness in him, but he has it. No, yeah. he does. Like, he no, he, like, no, 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 he no, does. No, 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 no. I mean, when like, Dad was dad, hooping. Dad, dad's like he dad won't. Was he hooping? won't be like like he like a talk shitter. He just does it. That's what I mean. No, Dad was ice cold. I watched Dad played in organized leagues and shit, and Dad was balling. Yeah, yeah. and he was rough. And I remember Dad just being like this, always like very like, tender, uh, very uh, like. But I would watch him ball, and I would be like, "Yeah." So we were thinking of Dan it was like the watching Dan, <laughs> watch it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, <laughs> like Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. No, but he's very sweet. You know what I mean? Like you have to get that out of him. That's no, how but I when was he would too. play ball, he you'd was piss very me off, and then I would get into and he it. would talk shit. Oh yeah, Dan would talk shit. He'd be like, yeah, like he would block you. He'd be like, don't bring that shit in here. Like, and I remember being like, yo, dad, chill. Like, my friends are going to get all offended. I'm like, no, nah, fuck that. Give it to him. But, but like you said, like watching Danny, I remember there was one game watching Danny ball. We were at, uh, we were at Reynolds. Um, and I came up, I had a yellow number seven on cause you wore seven and 25, right? I, I wore seven and 25. Right. It yeah. always added up to seven. And then I wore 34. Right. And yeah. I, and, and so oh. I didn't know that either. Yeah. No, because sense. I gave, Mathematically, I, it gave, makes sense. I gave Skylar a friend of mine who passed away. Yeah. 
I let him wear seven. I said, I'll wear 34 if that's your favorite number. Gotcha. Yeah, wear Skyler, it, man. Rest his soul. Yeah, man. Um, um, so I gave, I, I gave I, him seven. And I never wore it. I came that. up to a game and I, and I had a yellow t shirt made with the number seven on it. Right. And I was, Danny, Danny's high school career at that point was pretty successful. And Danny broke out. Danny broke out from like, had the ball, Jackets had the ball on like, like the 35. Yeah. And doing it around when right. John and Daniel were doing it. You right. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I was no, so dude, proud yeah, of all yeah, three yeah, of them because no, they were all just like great ball players. athletic beasts. Great ball players. And, you know what I mean? I, and I remember Danny busting loose, and I was down the track. Like, I had gotten down on the track, and Danny... And I remember, like, you know when you're, like, playing something and you, and you start to do, like, the movements? What they're doing? That, I'm like, yeah, yeah, doing? Yeah, 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 do that. And I was, yeah. like, I was like, yeah, little brother, go. Yeah. And he busted loose. He, like, broke one tackle. It was, like, a dope spin move backfield, and he just, like, hit the corner and fucking took off and me and him were just running just it was just us just and i was just running down the sidelines with him just like screaming at the top of my lungs yeah and danny was just fucking like fire fly, just yeah. coming out of him yeah. and i was just fucking going nuts and i remember he just got into the end zone and i was just like fuck yeah, yeah. I, was just going nuts. <laughs> I was just going nuts on the <laughs> sidelines and i remember that moment i was just like yo he's so much better at football than i ever was that, that Jared, was definitely Jared, the first Jared, first Jared, Jared used to come to football games with like thirty foot long snakes yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I remember that. You come with the fucking pipe. So Puerto yeah. Rican, smoking with Newports and shit. Yeah. Had a Newport. Yeah, yeah. But everyone, like class, like everyone like loved him. Everyone loved Jared though. Yeah, I it's did. like your brother him. came with a snake. I looked and like, like chanclas. I looked like trouble, but I wasn't. But I remember running down the sideline with him, being like, snake "Yo, this is, our, this is our moment," because we had both broken loose at that point. Dude, one of the coolest moments. Amazing. One of the coolest moments I ever had with Dad was at a football game. Where like I, I scored a touchdown, and I looked in the stands, and he just stood up, mad stoic, yeah, and just pointed at me, yeah, like so I good. Accept you now, yeah, that's my. And boy. I was just like, holy fuck, yeah. dude! I think we all just hated yeah. Danny until his football career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this kid sucks. He's fast, dude. Well, I didn't because I, I remember watching and being like, oh my god, he's actually like I didn't, fucking nasty. I didn't watch <laughs> much of Danny's basketball career, which was also pretty successful there. Yeah, and, and then I got I, I would always get kicked off the fucking yeah because team. it was a different thing. But but yeah, I remember but though, that moment. I, I wish I remember the exact game. I remember sound, so much about this it. It's gonna sound but, so but poetic and lame, but it was dope. way different. Like I remember seeing Danny on football field and just be like, God damn, that kid's hot, dude. Killing it. Oh yeah, he was so good. They like me. I feel like Danny's basically like, damn, I've never gotten this much. Yeah. Right. Would have been nice if you said this to me while we were yeah, living. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, that's what I was thinking. Like, step bros, and we're like, that's what you would like. What are you, you fucking pussy? Whatever he says, the other word. Yeah, yeah you would like that, wouldn't you, you little bitch? You little um, bitch. That's great. Yeah, damn, dude. I'm the man. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah. for that question. Yeah, thanks. I'm awesome. Uh, Jilly, <laughs> Jilly Russell wants to know, Jilly. who would you like, uh, who would you most like to fuck if you had permission? This is for the single guys. A part of, um, from apart me. from me, of course. Jilly, good for you for that yeah, confidence. Jilly's got yeah. uh, Go follow sure. Jared on Instagram. Jared Lopiori. Yeah. 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 Be of age. Jared. Let Jared be of age. It might be you, Jilly. Yeah, please be of age. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 51 God, followers. Please. Halfway to 100. You have 51 followers already. Let's go, bro. And there's no pictures on my IG right now. You know how many people start an IG and no one ever wants to talk to them? Text you a picture? Yeah, text me a picture that you want and I'll upload it right now. All right. But all it's right. gotta uh, be that. Well, all right. So who's um, your, who's like the dream permission girl? My dream permission girl is probably could be a porn can, star too. Can we go back into time also? Yeah. No. No. Let's do like now. Okay. Let's now-ish. Do now-ish. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll do you. But I'll do you both. I'll do back in the day. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Tits. I'll do you. I'll do you both. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was my was my favorite ever. Uh huh. Um. Now I would say Scarlett Joe for sure. You're a Scar Joe guy. I love Scar Joe. Okay. Very much. Right. So. Jared. Uh, oh shit, Vita Guerra. Back in the wait, who's Vita? Who's oh, Vita Guerra? Again? She was like Jeremy Shockey's girlfriend. She was right. Like, she's yeah. back in the day. I she consider. was on the honest. Honestly, like I, I don't want to. I don't. I, there's another name I want to drop, but I don't want to drop like right now God, because God, my, my homie, my homie dated her. You know what I mean? And, and, and anyway. to do. No, I can't. I love this dude too much to say it. All right, can I you said, can you text it to me right now? Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. And then you text it to me. And then I'll text it to and myself. And then this is and why then we need a group chat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's start yeah, a, Vita, let's start a Vita, group chat right now. Yeah, Vita, let's do it right now. Yeah, Vita Guerra's up there. Oh, shout out to one love McGov, my man Adam McGovern, Dobbs Ferry born resident. I don't know if he's Dobbs Ferry born, but he was raised. Do you there. have a baby? And him and his wife, Eliza, just had a baby. Hell yeah. Congrats, uh, yo. So congrats to you guys. I fucking love these guys. They're beautiful people. Daddy, true. Um, and, and welcome to the, to the world, Veda. 
I it's like beautiful that name. little baby. Wasn't the name of the Veda of My oh, Girl? Man, I'm wait, so happy who, for you guys. Wait, wait, Dude, Veda. Lies, my girl. Sleaze, I fucking love you guys. You guys man. remember the movie My Girl? Veda, that was her name, dude, right? Are you kidding? Yeah. No, it was Beta. No, was it was Veda. No, it was Veda, dude. You want to know what's so funny? Is that no, today flirt, flirting, not, with, flirt, not, flirting with one of my ladies? I sent, a, I sent a picture of, of uh, Macaulay Culkin and, and Veda Sultanfuss. Dude, does, wait, kissing. he dies in that movie, doesn't he? Yeah, from Beast Things. He gets B fucked. Glasses. Yeah. He can't see without his glasses. Oh, see don't say that glasses. line to me. It's so it sad, so dude. No, also, this next mind. question is going to be for me and you. I think Jared might have one if he, he'll remember. Oh, yes. Yeah, but uh, Vinny Jimenez, uh, it's definitely, um, um, uh, if I had to pick one, I like Revolver Ocelot a lot, but I'm going to go with Liquid Snake. My favorite Metal Gear Solid villain is going to, for the people that don't know this, they're going to be like, what the fuck? But yeah, also, it's, it's also we don't care about you. Yeah. Um, my, favorite, my favorite is going to have to be I hope you don't uh, say the one that I'm going to say. He's not really a vin- villain, but he kind of is at some point. Is Cyborg Ninja is Gray Fox? So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he is. He's the he's the opposite end. He right. is. He is a villain. Right. Um, um, so I'm going to have to say Gray Fox. I'm going to go Psycho Mantis. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Nice like and that. sexy, leathery. Dude, dude like you had to fucking Kojima switch game. your controller, controller just to go to the. You guys don't understand, Jared had the very first PlayStation of anyone in our family, and yes. I wanted to be like him Dude. so much because I was like, wow, my parents allowed him to get this. Because PlayStation had sexier, older people games. Yeah. You got to remember this. Yeah. Like, Metal Gear Solid is not a kid game by <clears> any <throat> means. And I remember we got it, and we got Jared into it, and Jared was like, yo, this is fucking, I've never seen a game like this in my life. It might it might be the greatest game that I've ever, yes. like, the gr- like initial impact. Yes. I remember that gameplay. It was fucking absurd. Oh, it was crazy. It was like for a PlayStation 1 game. Dude, it was so good. You know how many PlayStation 1 games we can play? They're trash. It was so good. Yeah, I mean, amazing. I can't I can't think of another game. Oh, we got you a profile picture. Nice. Yeah, you got a profile picture now, and you have 60 followers. Thank Holy you, ladies. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, whatever. Daddy uh, Chill, you're hot. Daddy Chill. Kayla Harper wants to know, where do you guys want to travel most? Uh, definitely Greece. Europe. Italy. I wanna, yeah, I want to go Europe. I want to do a whole Euro trip. Italy. Yeah. I want to go to Bali. Yeah. You never, wanna, you've never been to Italy? I've never been to it's Italy. Awesome. I was supposed to go for my 40th and then fucking Yeah. Maybe COVID-19. we should go together. Yo, I'd fucking love that. Leave this fucker Dude, out. Dude, are you kidding? I would fucking love that. Good, yeah. Well, I know. That would be amazing. I just look at pictures of just like where our grandfather grew up. <clears throat> oh, I want to go so bad. And just how beautiful, like the so coastal bad. area of that yeah, of that region yeah. is so fucking beautiful. I want to go man. fucking. I want to go really, really bad. Yeah, we uh, should. We should definitely. Plan yeah, let's it. plan it. When yeah. the world is regular, let's go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Logan wants to know: Is Superbad the goat of movies? It's not the goat of movies, it's but it means there, though. it yeah. means so much to me. Like because it came out while we were in high school, so it's right. very big. Also, Superbad also, also there would the be no Superbad without the movie Old School. So watch yourself. A yeah. Bit there. Fuck me. I right. mean, super, fuck me, right? Superbad was yeah. Oh, fuck <laughs> me, right? Yeah. Ever. Yeah. He's his brother. Yeah. Uh, you're totally his brother. Come on, Pete's totally brother. Like say, come on, Pete's brother. And all the time, for no reason, I'll always say, I'll always say, brother. hold Pete's brother. And for no reason, all brother. time, all time, I'll always go, cops, help me out, cops. <laughs> what do you say? Cops. He's like, my back, cops. I always say that all the time. Like oh, when, when he someone, gets hit by the car? Yeah, yeah. yeah my yeah. back, cops. My, my back. I, yeah. I, I say that um, all the time when someone like bothers well, me. Well, you guys can ride up here with me if you want. Yeah, <laughs> Goat, goat. You on oh, MySpace? Yeah. Or? <laughs> Who's going to give it to her? You. You are. That's who. That goat, move, goat movies? No, it's uh, just like a super bad, the goat of movies. Yeah, it's I'm not, but yeah, it's I'm gonna say no. I'm going to say no, but it's up there. It's up there, though. Jorge Torres. It doesn't It doesn't. Trump. Um, old school, uh, old school. Yeah, it's fucking uh, brilliant. I could watch Super Bad every day though. Yeah, it's uh, Jorge hilarious. Torres. Besides Vine in its original form, what other app would you like to see make a comeback for nostalgic reasons? MySpace. Uh, MySpace what was a, a lot of fun. You My, had MySpace. You were I big fucking, on MySpace. I was huge on MySpace. What other app would I like to see make a comeback? Um, fuck, fucking uh, Angry Birds. Straight up. Oh yeah. Or what was that other game that got banned? It was like Hyperjet or some shit. But if he means a platform, MySpace for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's I think, that, was, I think that's Vine what you. I think you were. Dead. I think you were directing us in that direction yeah, on purpose. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I. I wish I had gotten more involved with Vine when it was out, but I. I, I didn't. I left that up to you guys. Uh, Dan Delucha, uh, what? Deluch. Uh, what are both your favorite? All three of us. A uh, favorite impressions to do, Jared? Do you have any impressions that you really like to do? That I like to do? Yeah. Like, who's your favorite person to do? Um, 
I don't know. I don't know if I I haven't done it in a while. Christopher Walken's up there. Okay. That scene in Pulp Fiction was like he'd be damned. If <laughs> yeah. Their hands and on his grandson's birth side. So he hit the watch. Oh, this watch. Up his, up his ass. Dad, Okinawa. 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 Dad, Dad. Dad. Hit the watch. Uh, up his ass. Say it again. I guess my favorite say to do again, is fucking I'll stab you in the face. What a soldering iron. Soldering iron. Smack. Oh. Smack. Oh. You're coming at my boy all wrong. wrong. <laughs> It's, for, yeah. it's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's not yeah. too bad. No, it's not. It's, your, hey, I need favorite? a moment to get into that. Uh, now, Tony, because everyone loves fucking Everybody shit. Everyone yeah. loves Tony, dude. Yeah, Tony's pretty good. Jesus fucking Christ, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves Tony. Everyone loves Tony. So I really sad didn't think that it was that dude passed, man. I know, oh, bro. What a and dude. What a and I, and I, I, know, I know we said not talk long for this, but uh, Jesus Christ, Jesus his his accent changes. Does yeah. it not? As he, as he got, like, fatter, it changed. Yeah. All right, what about yours? Who's your... I already um, think I know. I mean, it's it's definitely Hulkster brother. I mean, yeah, dude. yeah. Everyone yeah. loves. Come on, dude! Come it's on, the Hulkster dude. brother. But also, like, <laughs> I'm not racist, dude. But I used to love. It. I used to love. Like Danny, Danny so yeah, it's so also good. like uh, like Mike Tyson, like yeah. when he's talking, and he gets emotional. Yeah. And then he, he said, then he's about to start I think, crying. I think you're homosexual because yeah. I saw you. I saw you. You was throwing saw, punches. Just, yeah, you two punches at once. I saw you fight Roberto Duran. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, oh, no, Ali, we well, the giant. I love how emotional so Mike Tyson is. Oh, he's, he's the greatest. It's like the, you know, the did, you watch this, did you watch this? Did you watch this? I love. I love. Yeah, it was great. Yes, and I fucking really I, good, I love how people are so afraid of him, but he just has this beautiful personality. Yeah, it's yeah, it's radiant. Such a, and don't get me wrong. A he's a spirit. fucking animal. Oh, he's an animal. He will Nuts. kill anything that was he fifty four, fifty three. You see him on Logan Paul's fucking podcast. He ate like two ounces of shrooms. on it and was fine. I would love. Love to you burn him over Mike Tyson. You ever smoked a toad? Yeah. He's you like, you ever done toad? the toad? I've done the toad. Yeah. But let me tell you something. I was just, I was just a fighter. I was just mad. <laughs> but Ali, Ali stood for something. He was a giant. He's a giant. He's a giant. He was a giant. Yeah, but that's him He's, like trying to yeah, choke yeah, back yeah, the yeah, tears, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. When he goes, he goes, he would have died doing this shit. I would, I would <laughs> die for this shit. <laughs> He would have died for this I'd show. love to have him come in, dude. Oh, oh my what? God. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, come on show. the show, dude. Dude, I cried, dude. I cried. I cried when he lost to Buster Douglas. Oh, oh I believe it, bro. You were at that yeah. age, too. I watched, I watched, right. I watched, Biggie, Mike Tyson. Yeah. I watched, I yeah. watched Mike Tyson lose to Buster Douglas yeah. on a TV yeah, that yeah. Is, yeah. is probably about the size of your laptop. Gosh. And I'll never forget. God, what a fucking I'll never moment, forget dude. how devastated I was. I remember was, how me and how how scared me and Dad were when that fucking riot broke out. Oh, with Lennox uh, Lewis? Yes. Oh, with oh, the yeah. oh, I had Len, Lennox Lewis was in the restaurant recently. Uh, Mad English. Oh uh, yeah, he came in. He was dressed in. He had like on like, like this baby blue bad, like button down with like a matching like baby blue Kango. Bad motherfucker. And, and and nobody knew who he was. That's it was why. fucking that's, crazy. That's, I knew the I, second he's not, I saw him, he's not I was Lewis. like, "Yo, because he's not." I know not, Lennox. I've been in the ring with him. In the ring, we've never been in a movie. The band of five. He was the best jab. We the best jab. Been in that scene. You never been in exchange. I think you're a homosexual. That's why. Yo, when he said that to Boosie, it was so funny. Yo, but the fact, but the fact that Boosie was just like, oh no, man, dude. Yeah, and the thing is, is like, and the thing is, is like. I don't have a gun on me in here, Badass. and there's nothing separating us but air. And if I say the wrong thing to Iron Mike, I'm gonna end up in a bag. And you're gonna get beat up on camera too. And Boosie is not a big dude. No. And, and, and anyway, but Mike he's not a pussy though. No, 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 no. no. He's no. not. No, he's but not. he did pay someone to slap him. In the yeah, face. but yeah. but when you're not pussy, you know when you're in the room with someone else who's not pussy. You know who yeah. I wish you I could do me? more. And I you, if Mike Tyson walked in here right now I'd and was terrified. angry, oh, I was like, Mike, let's just chill. I'm like, Mike, chill, chill, chill. Hold on. Piss me off. You know what impression I wish I could do more of? I can only do two words. Is Dave Chappelle? I just don't die, motherfucker. Yeah, my. Christopher Walken used to be better. I, I, uh, you guys put me on the spot with that you one. See, you gotta practice. I would sit there with cuss. I would hit. Yo, all yeah. I know is my IG Danny's notifications are getting lit. Yeah. That's where we're going, guys. Hundred, hundred followers. That's all you that need. We're trying to go. I got one picture, guys. I promise. I'll bring will post his dick because I actually, picture. yeah, I actually, I actually like to take a lot of pictures of my. Oh, so there you go. Less than forty away. Let's go to the next <laughs> fucking question. Before I kill somebody. And kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Meg, Meg, Meg Bellis, Meg Bellis, Meg Bellis. Opinion on you. K Grime is Skepta, i.e. Skepta, Jamie, Kano, Kano. Or Don't know any of them, but I know they all saw wait, his. Wait, quick, sick, top, big blogs. Yeah, wait, tick wait. Tick who's tick the tick dude? Tick who's the dude 
who's the dude that put that that did the eight the he did the track with ASAP? Skepta, maybe. But Is fucking it? Thomas. Get a cop bit Tom Neck, prof. Dude. Uh, those my bruv. Yo, that shit, some of that shit is fire. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. My, my homegirl. Oh, I just don't listen to a lot of it, but it's good. My homegirl put me onto that. She's English. Hannah. Hannah. Shout yeah, out to yeah, Hannah. Yeah. Shots in the brick like dumb. Hit you with doo doo doo. Shots no. in the brick like that. Came back with the shit all flat. I don't really came for the trunk. <laughs> Talk that shit. I came in some for these runners. Came back for the track like dumb. Shots at uni. Yo. Shots at y'all. Hey, Shots hey. at the people outside hey. flattened. And it came back slattened. When well, you see me chilling, I got the satin. Skin impingement. It came out so, but it got the knitting. And the boy got naughty. And the boy saw shooting. Squash that cotty. <laughs> Everyone talking shit when it came back blitzing. I got blasting. Everyone asking now if we talk with this and all what's happened Cause the man got knackered, then the man got splattered And the man got gutted, in the middle of the room I don't care but the man got butted From the head, came back tripping and end up dead With the do 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 everybody get shot and they end up dead <laughs> Came back with a happen, can't talk that shit when it happens That's up that, that I be all clapping cause I'm clapping yeah. What's happening? Hey you know I got out, wanna get some grub Then I can't talk top five my purpose, then I'm hitting all the pub <laughs> Sucking on the bubbly, yes and you know what I get out? Do more cook than cheddy. Hit the bar, then I'm sipping berries. With all my homies, quick clap, make five, let's walk, let's squat, with five, take cut, hit the bar, with a Back in the alleyway, now take your nobody, now sit, now climb, now you know what I'm at. And I rip my gang, do it like this. If you don't understand, then you don't know English value, you don't know the slang. When the shit get messy, when the shit get messy, just trying to lay in the pub and watch some Chelsea. And came back tripping, I don't talk shit, and everyone here don't test me. Came been told, in a one track track suit. Everybody get shit, everybody gonna get hit from the jump. I don't care, could I got this? In a hot skip, in a jump, came back, came through to your own hood, on your flats, let off with a pump, came back trip trip. I don't really understand, but I'm sitting there in a rebuck, drip drip, zip zip, all the way up in your body, just on a hit list. Just got body, you just got splattered, you just got hit, and everyone over there chat shit. If you keep chatting shit, you'll get talk shit, chat shit, get hit fam, get hit bruv. Watch your mouth, bro. When I bro. see your gun, your fucking goddamn clock, I ain't not a squirm. Hit a football game, then I hit up your whole fucking firm. Boom! Put him on your guards. Yeah, when I come down, yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, acting like a fucking fool again. You don't see the movie Fool again. Oh, when we come to the block, don't say sucker because I'll put you in the face. The bubbles, the bubbles, the bubbles, the bubbles, the bubbles, don't blur us. <laughs> and you can't do kind of fucking trouble. Because I'll find you on your block and lay it down to rest. <laughs> Throwing pretty bubbles no, straight in the air. I'm blowing this Mac off. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> in this back, and I got so knackered, putting my back so the walls to smack off. And I don't really care because everyone want to chill. We can have a gat off or smack off. Fuck you, wanker. Go and whack off. Shout out to Green Street. <laughs> Shout out to Green Fuck Street. Fuck you, man. wanker. Go and whack off. But that's what we think about. Fuck uh, all like Yo, fire. Yeah, but I, li- I like I UK think Grime. I, th- I like UK Grime. I like I, it I, too. I, I always, I always kind of look at like how grimier like parts of Europe and like England and like and appreciate just other, the shit and just be like yo these dudes are fucking yeah like respect it yeah dude and don't it doesn't get it sound twisted. like it is because it's don't so polite get it, don't get it twisted that yeah. they sound like that yeah, like these kill dudes are fucking mobsters bro yeah. it's true so and not to mention that like trap beats and all of that shit is like some of my favorite beat era since like a lot forever. of UK is like drill shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a that lot of dr- there's like drill influence. Or yeah, I don't know if it's fire. Dude, guys- I, I fly around fucking Miami bumping ASAP in my shit. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. all the fucking time. It's like my favorite music to listen to out there. He's a man, dude. Good people, man. Yeah. Him and Rihanna showed up to the restaurant like five minutes after I left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I, I had, I had Sorry. ASAP. I had, Ro- I had Rocky in when he had just come home from that whole shit that was going on. I was in Sweden when he was locked up in Sweden. Right, yeah. he had just come home and he came in. He came in with, uh, with Zoe Kravitz. Mm. Um, Smoke and she's, and another and, and this other cat. Oh, dude, beautiful. And his energy is always so dope. And I was just like, Yo, Rock, what's going on? He's like, Bro, I'm a free man. I'm here. But I, uh, my, my, the guy running the kitchen that night, my man Frankie Calamad, uh, was just like, yo, Rock's coming oh, sure. in. And I, he was like, dude, I'm a huge fan. And I was just like, yo, Rock, the kitchen loves you, bro. They're back there, they're grinding, they're sweating, they're putting out all this fucking amazing food. He was just like, I was like, yo, when you get a chance, I'll bring you back. Maybe you say hello to the guys and gals back there. He's like, let's go right now. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, and I was just like, no, 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 after dinner, cuz he was like, no, nah, let's go, let's go right now. And fucking, and I walked into the kitchen, I was like, yo, 
This is my man Rock, man. Say, show him some love. And he just burst through the curtains on Thompson Street. And there, every the whole kitchen was just like, yo, go crazy, giving hugs and shit. Like, shout out to ASAP, man. Fucking good energy all the time. For, Come on the show. Come on the show. Yeah, yeah. I would love to have them, you know, anywhere, anywhere near us, man. The energy is dope. Harlem represent. Steal your girlfriends. Steal your girlfriends. He fly steal, to death, he too. Will, yeah, he'll steal fly your girlfriends. Fly to girlfriend. death. Rocky, fly to if you were, death. They all if fly you were to, to open death. A bar, pretty, pretty, face, pretty face on a man. If you were to open a bar, it's what would you name it? Daniel Shipway says. Daniel Shipway, if you open a bar, I would just be like... Uh, Stifler's. Yeah. Da, yeah. Or Stifler's da, Moms. Yeah. Stifler's Moms. Stifler's Moms Bar. I like Stifler, that. Stifler's, Stifler's Moms Bar. Stifler's Moms Bar. Yeah. I call it the hole. Yeah. The hole's good. I like that. What about you? Uh... I just always think about what people would be like, yo, where are you going tonight? Like, yo, I'm going to the hole. Maybe call it like the Attitude Era. Attitude Era. Oh, that's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Attitude Era tonight. Uh, Jam and Jared. Uh, Spelled the right what way. What were y'all 21st birthdays like? Jared got a, a T-shirt made of his 21-year-old ID. Yep. And when everyone asked him for a drink, Flashing he pulled his, he pulled just his shirt flashed up. my shirt. It's yeah. Awesome. Well, we threw it Legendary. down. We threw it down at the Legion. American Legion. I got drunk. American Legion. American like Legion, for, for those who don't know, and probably most of y'all don't, American Legion was a pretty much like a uh, just a house that became a spot that you could rent to just throw jams in. Yeah. And it was two floors, and you would you would have like a baby shower there one day. You'd have like a fucking like VFW like veterans meeting there the next day. It would be and it was I, like and, a it's like a public rental space. Yeah, and it had Look like it was on like oh okay yeah. it was on like um, to your face. It was on like uh, two acres of property that you yep. could just get drunk and go and piss wherever you want and fucking. Jared, oh, you, had, you, Jared had like three hundred motherfuckers. I had show like three hundred fucking, fucking people awesome. show up to this, and we had a good time. Yeah, we had a fucking blast. Good. Yeah, that was my twenty um, first. I, I can't remember my twenty first birthday to be honest. <laughs> my, I remember mine, and there was a band playing, and their name was Cock. You remember that? Shut the fuck up! Really? What, at the Roadhouse? Yeah, was I twenty one or twenty two? Was I it called 21. Cock? I think I did 21 at the Roadhouse. Fire. Too. Yeah, it was 21. I did my 30th there, there was a the band roadhouse. there named Cock, and they sang a birthday, happy birthday to me, and it was like, happy fucking, fucking motherfucking birthday. birthday. We're cocked. Dude, I missed the roadie. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Mr. Yeah. What a good too. place to go and hang out. The roadie man. should definitely come on the show. Uh, Nanoosh. <laughs> yeah, Billy. Uh, Wild what, Bill. Yeah, Wild Bill. I th- Is he gone? I don't know. No, He's, English Bill? English Bill's still alive. English. Wild Bill. Um, um, uh, passed away. Nick, Nick's uncle passed yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend. Uh, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Um, I went to the girl that fucking thought I was going to pay for her shit. Sally Mistaken. Bang. Yeah. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't. No. Nope. And you know what? I was proud that night. I went home with a fucking dry dick. More happier than I've ever been in my life. Dude. And Richard. You went home richer. And richer. You touched and, her and she was a rude fucking asshole. So fuck yeah. her. Uh, yeah. That was the worst date of my life. She was rude and it was weird, and she thought I was going to pay for it, and I didn't. So. Yeah, worst date of my life. <laughs> that was yeah, my date. That's it. That <laughs> was <laughs> it. Worst, <laughs> worst, worst date of my life. I actually took this girl out that I had known for a while, and we always had the vibe there. And then we finally met up like years later, mm. and I took her to this bar across the street from when I was staying at Ben's at Two Hundred Four in Broadway. Um, damn, what the fuck was the name of that bar? But it was a dope spot to go and chill. And some dude started fucking jacking off next to her. Hot. Whoa, bro! What the what's hell? wrong? Yo, what's wrong? And the girl like got <laughs> mad. And the girl and the girl Jesus. got mad at me that I didn't do anything about it. Jesus, because I didn't even peep that he was doing it. And she was just like, "Yo, this dude's jerking off next to me," and I'm just like, "No, he's not." And I was looking at him, and I was just like, "No, he's not." But then finally, I realized he was, and I said something to the bartender. I was like, "Bro, I'm about to fucking stall on this dude if you don't get him out of here." Fucking threw him out, and the dude like got thrown out with like his dick hanging out of no. his pants. And that, that, that didn't end well. It took her been, out of the mood. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that would have been worse is if she actually left with that guy after. No, no, yeah, no. I'm she left. She, no, she was like legit, man. She's like, why didn't you do anything? I'm like, baby, I didn't see him, homie doing it. Like, and I, and then I made it like a sorry ass joke. It was like, well, I don't blame him. Like, you're kind of hot. And she was pissed. Crazy. That I like didn't. I was like, what do you want me to do? Like, hop up and fucking start fighting this dude? Like, wants to punch your shit because you're hot and let him do it. Someone said if it's also couple. if you could create a holiday, what would it be called? Uh, what would it be oh, for? Oh, can, can I answer this? Can I answer this? Yeah. It's actually the day that Ice Cube is talking about in Today Was a Good Day. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. Ice Cube I think, Day. Yeah. It, it's, and it's just, I, called, I wanted good to, and it's just I, called Good Day. Yeah, No, I wanted to call it National Good Day Day. Yeah, National Good Day Day. I like and, that. And I, like and that I could tell you if we Googled it, they Googled all the statistics, the shit that he throws out, like the Lakers beat the Supersonics and like, 
where he yeah, was at when he was filming all actually like, happened, boy, right? like Boys in the Hood. Yeah. And he couldn't have been here and he had to be there. And it came out to be like January. I don't, I don't want to fuck this up. Let me go Google this. But this is the day that I wish that they made right. so that they could just play this shit all the fucking time. Right. It's um, when is when he it's January it. something. So he did this on purpose then, obviously, right? No, I don't think he did. I just think someone Tumblr, went out. Th- Tumblr scientist pinned the exact date. Yeah, on what IQ is it? Has January twentieth. It is uh, January twentieth, nineteen twenty. Nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. January twentieth. So from moving from moving forward, all you fucking good people that are watching this show on January twentieth. I want you to go out and have your best fucking day. Yeah. And then 10 days later is my birthday. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Hell so yeah, it's it all is. in a good, it's all in good error yeah. and in good time, but make January 20th because everybody knows that song. Yeah. It should be good day. It should be day. good day. It, yeah. National yeah. good day. day. Yeah. yeah. National I like ice cube. Good day. Day. That should be the, the holiday that um, I would vote for. I, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like if I created a holiday, it would be a day that like everyone just has to say some nice shit to somebody. Like, even if it's your brother or right. cousin or it's something like, don't, like that. Don't be a dick day. Yeah, don't yeah, be a don't, dick day. Don't just be a try, dick just, day. Just, you know what? It's national. I would say. But I would you say, can collaborate that I would say with everyone national nice good day. day day. Nice day. Because you're being good. No, but this is like how you treat other people. Not gotcha. just not just you have a good day for gotcha. yourself. Like gotcha. This is like an unselfish yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I feel that. I feel that. Uh, I'd even sh- have to use my AK. No. I have to say it was Today was a good day. Yeah, you don't even need to use your AK. Yeah, exactly. Last Good week, days. fucked around and got a triple double. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's even possible. In a, it's the high scoring fucking basketball game. Yeah, worst jump shot ever, though. Yeah, no, you could have that. ten points, ten assists, yeah. playing up to twenty one. <laughs> yeah, and then you, yeah, and then you could yeah, have ten yeah. rebounds. Yeah, yeah you could yeah, have a triple yeah. double. It's actually, yeah, way easier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shane Dunn wants to know, Mike, did you ever get caught selling the ganjas? Yes. Uh, did you? Yeah, you got arrested once. I, I got arrested. What for possession or actual sale? Uh, no, I got arrested after I sold to someone, not while I was selling. It wasn't like a fucking sting operation. I was right. only yeah. selling fucking They They pinched him grams. and they pinched you. Yeah. It now was, it's legal, bitch. It was me and Bam. my, uh, me and my friend Aiden. We both got fucking arrested and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I had to go to jail and I thought my dad was going to beat the shit out of me and he was completely fine with it. He was yeah. like, listen, dude, I know you smoke. I, whatever. My son's trying to start a business. Yeah, I can go into that whole story cause it's fucking hilarious, but we're, we're, yeah, we'll we're, we're it, doing we'll questions, it. but yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. great. It's great. It's a great story. Uh, um, yes, I have. The answer is yes. So let's Mike go. Was getting it. Uh, I was making, I was making money. If I could yeah, switch lives with one current slash past athlete, it would be Bruce Jenner. No, it would be, um, <laughs> uh, let me go and say people have to f- people forget that Bruce Jenner mm-hmm. One of the won the athletes. fucking decathlon. Yeah. Dude, do you know how great brother? of an athlete you have to do? That's ten fucking things. Yeah, in the Olympics, in the universe, in the world. Yeah, one of the best athletes to ever live. Put some respect on that fucking name, bro. On Caitlyn's name. Yeah, Caitlyn. Caitlyn will fucking throw the shock put through a roof. No, but if I uh, probably Michael Jordan. Who the fuck wouldn't want to be Michael Jordan? Switch I don't know because I never. Derek Jeter. Derek I never Jeter. hear good stories about Mike. I, every story I ever hear about Michael Jordan besides winning chips was that he was. Yeah, but asshole. we're talking about athlete, not his fucking right. real. Yeah. fuck that, dude. I, if, we're oh, so about, if we're talking about life? athletically, yeah, dude, I'm gonna, I want to walk into the gym every time and everyone should be like, "Yo, that's the who, greatest who's person." The, who's in the, the world? dude that played two sports and he was nasty? Fucking Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. I want to be Bo Jackson. Yeah. Dion and Bo did it. Yeah. There were yeah, a couple Dion of them. Dion too, yeah. I'd, I'd say I'd Dion Jackson was like a master in both, wasn't I'd he? I'd probably say David Beckham. Really? Yeah. Dude, David Beckham's a stud. Bro. No, I'd rather be like Ronaldo then. Yeah, if we're talking but now we're talking about You looks. think you think Ronaldo is better than David Beckham? 100%. Yes. At, like game skill wise? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Right. Your not even close. But yeah. but success wise outside of that? Yes. No, yes. But nobody's more famous than David Beckham. Cristiano Ronaldo is. Yeah, you're probably right. And Lionel Messi. Yeah, you're out of your mind. Yeah. Christian, Cristiano David Ronaldo Beckham is. David Beckham was like a like I get it. It's like more of like a like a sex symbol. Like David yeah. Beckham's super fucking. Dude, famous. the only reason people don't even stud. say Messi half the time the is, is the like because Messi's just like an average kind of looking dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronaldo's just got like he stud. looks like a fucking Calvin Klein model. Yeah, stud model. He makes a he makes the most money. He was literally and also yeah. at one point he was like the, he's like the Kobe Bryant of fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd say Kobe. there are people that are probably better than him yeah. athletically, but he is the he's you know Kobe. Look at him, <laughs> dude. He's worth five hundred million dollars. Who is Ronaldo? Ronaldo. And he's what's, still playing. What's David Beckham worth? Let's see. 
450. 450. Yeah, all right, so what the right. fuck? Solid what Ronaldo's about? still playing, yeah. and he's worth 500 million. Yeah, no, but, but yeah. he's still. But yeah. also, watch what's going to happen. I don't know where you're watch from, but 450 happen. is lower than 500 million. Watch what's yeah, going to watch, watch what's going to happen. When, you, when you're worth 500 right million now. or you're worth 450 million, it doesn't make a difference. No, so right. But that 50 million but makes no difference. But he still loses. But, into a but, David, yeah, yeah. but David Beckham, at this point, is worth 450 million. Also, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be worth a billion dollars. Yeah. Because he'll just go do fucking whatever. Mark my words, he's going to come to the MLS one day and play in America and make mad fucking money. Right. When he's like 45 right. years old. Yeah. Um, How old is he now? He's like, he's close. He's I like also, he's, I also, David Beckham's 45 I, years old, actually. Dude, David Beckham's right? the fucking man, bro. Yeah. Like, he's oh. just the nicest I'll, guy in the Here's the, the thing. World. He's definitely. What a class act. Oh, he's 36. Oh, dude. Who's 36? Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I was going to say, David Beckham is not No, he's, he's 45. He's only two years David older. David Beckham is a class act. He's an absolute gentleman and he's fucking awesome. Yeah. Every time I've taken care of him, it's just like talking to my butt. He's yeah. just a good dude. What's one joke from any comedian that you love that has ever made you snort laughing? I mean, there's so many. I, oh, I, I don't even think I can get into that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd have to say Bernie Mac. Joke? Yeah, Bernie Mac. Hey, Mac. Yeah, that's my name. Well, some of them are so we can, can I ask, answer the Can I ask you a uh, question? She said, hey, Mac, is it true that pussy tastes like pumpkin pie? He said, don't ask me no question <laughs> that's, like that's that. better than you're walking. <laughs> yeah, I ain't honest. never had no pumpkin pie. Uh, kick it. it. Yeah, kick it. Damn it. Dude, Dude, absolute Dan, fucking Dan, genius. Dan, Dan, Dan. Wait a, wait a I'll take my dick out the whole room game, dog. I'm, he I'm heavy structured. I'm hung low. Uh, I would say my, I take my dick out. Of my yeah, I should have went with Bernie Mac. My, my of favorite joke. Walker. I mean, it's sad to say. I mean, because he's became just a nut. But Cat yeah, Willi Cat Williams uh, talking about weed is uh, a this, this shit right here. Classic. This, this shit, shit right is here. called death. This shit is right here. Have me on the on the I sitting on the refrigerator. Cat Williams, man. Says, have me sitting on the TV watching that, the refrigerator. That special is a classic. No matter what anyone says, it's one of the best specials of Maybe all time. Maybe Mike Epps, uh, the stolen from Michael Jackson and them. Yeah, stolen yeah. from Michael. He come out oh down the street what? with a giraffe. Yeah. Practicing the dance oh, yeah, moves yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. All, right, all right, that's it. That's hey, it. Hey, grand, hey grandma. Oh, hey, grandma. Hey, grandma. You gonna come in there and give us some head like you said you was gonna do earlier? I gave your daddy head. I gave your daddy head. Are you coming there? I'll give it to you right now. The Michael Jackson joke is amazing. He's like. Motherfuckers was mad when Mike didn't end up in jail. They're like, "Damn, I wanted him." <laughs> oh no! When he goes, when he goes, Mike will be running shit in the jail. He's like, "Tell Joe to get the cigarette cards, come back. I don't need them later. <laughs> go get bubbles. Go, 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 go get bubbles. Tell him to come back." <laughs> yeah, that's cut to a little kid walking a giraffe in the hood. Wait, like, where well, you get that at? <laughs> Stolen from Michael Jackson. Jackson and Neil. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike a great Epps joke too. Uh, great. Mike, what was the worst drug you took? Um, acid, acid. Because I fucking couldn't sleep normally afterwards. Yeah. I was like seeing spiders and shit, yeah. and then uh, and it was not fun. But shrooms was great. What was my drink of choice? Yeah, I loved Captain and Gingers, but I also just loved Cr <laughs> Crown and Coke. Was so good. Was yeah. that your thing? I always saw you drinking beers. No, I loved beers, but if I'm yeah. having a drink, it would be one of those. Yeah. Right. Um, but drink. Uh, I, I love like Captain a, and Ginger. Yo, they're so good. That's a good drink. And Red Bull, Red Bull and vodka too. You Red vodka, Red those. Bulls was something I enjoyed for yeah. a while. But I yeah. act like a piece of shit when I drink vodka. Like you know, like I could say like, oh yeah, like fucking Blue Label Johnny Walker. No, like, no, yeah, no, no, like no, no. I love doing that, but I didn't yeah. have it all the time. Yeah, right. when I was drinking, yeah. I had no money. It was about Henny and Ginger Ale. Henny and Ginger Ale's fire. Yak and Ginger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and how did me and Selena met? We met. Um, we met. In Florida, um, at a through a mutual friend, and then um, she just hasn't left me alone That's since. It. What a dumb, you know? Yeah, like Grandpa used Daddy to say. Chill. Grandpa used to say, "Pretty girl, not very smart, but a pretty girl." <laughs> <laughs> she is, uh, she's she's thankfully she's smarter than me. Yeah, but, uh, no, she definitely is. Yeah. I just she's just not smart for hanging out with you. Oh yeah, that she'll figure that. <laughs> Uh, was the freestyle about Joe from the heart? Oh, it's always anything about Joe is always from the heart. Joey Santa Gots. Joey Santa Gots. Great Saint, guy. The Saint of Cats. Yeah, the Saint Cat. The guy yeah. loves cats. And Michael, did what you a, buy a, a ceiling deal. titty yet? Uh, no, I have not you bought go. one. You don't have a ceiling. Titty I have yet. not bought a ceiling titty yet. No. I was at Home Depot, but they're fucking expensive. <laughs> Yeah, you know how I you know how I refer you, you know house. how I refer to you guys to those who have followed you ceiling titty. Uh, I'm like there's ceiling titty and there's titty milk and then titty yeah. and then yeah that's then how titty. I refer to you guys. They're True. like so your brothers are I'm like yeah ceiling titty both and about titty titties. Milk. That's why when people are like oh your yeah. podcast is tasteless yeah. and I'm and just I'm, like do you know I'm, how the fuck we got popular in the first yeah. place? You and stupid I'm, bitch. And I'm in between is Similac because I cooked all that formula for my kids. That's true. Yeah, it's not real titty milk. You have. It's canned children. Canned titty milk. Um, Sam Jones wants to know, kind of odd, but what was it like when Jared was playing ball in Canada? Uh, 
weirder for him. He found out his girlfriend was pregnant. Yeah, I mean, what was it like for for? No, they were. Just, he, oh. I, I think he. This person thought that you played professionally in Canada. No, no, no. I didn't play professionally. I played in a league of, with guys that eventually played professionally. Yeah. Also, Sam Jones. Good, and, good job asking a question. Didn't even know this guy was going to be on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's the MVP, uh, Sam Jones. Look at yeah, the future. Sam Jones. Good question. I remember. I, that. I was playing ball all around uh, That's crazy, the U.S. Man. at the time. Yeah. Wait, is that when you found out you were pregs? Yeah, he's playing. Yeah, like, I was sitting on. The, I, oh, I didn't mention NBA jams in my top five. Yeah, he's playing there. NBA jam, and you put a you put a yeah. chair on a bed. I was sitting on top. Yeah. I was also, sick. every time we beat him in Street Fighter, he would slap the shit oh, out of dude. us. Remember that? Yeah, that was, was mad at too. Certain yeah. level. Yeah, because I had to. I had you guys. You guys Lost had to ass. realize that, yeah. like. I could still physically harm you in real life. <laughs> yeah, not only not yeah. virtually. Yeah, 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 you can't throw no fireballs, motherfucker, in this living room right now. I'll fuck your ass up. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw a fucking. Yeah, don't fucking try to doll sim fucking trans fucking porn on me, motherfucker. I'll get your ass. Yeah, you this kid would get so angry. Uh, yeah, I tell. I think I tell people all the time about that. Yeah. Fucking about cheesy that. fucking bitch. I'm like, stop uh, it. And he'd yeah. be like, stop this. Yeah. Be like, yeah can't. Just, yeah, can't block that. Do you sit or stand when you wipe your ass? That's uh from Maggie. Oh shit. I, I sit. You, you don't stand up. No. Dude, one you time. Stand? What? No, because you could spread cheeks more when you're no, sitting down. You just kind of lean. Dude, one time. Uh, I've been into the like extra washing lately, in. too, though, because walking around Miami with a clammy butt. Oh, yeah, that's every, the f- wait till it's June. Dude, yeah, I've seen dude. somebody who was a close friend of mine. Idea. His name was Peter. Um, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> when we were in high school. Pete uh, would cheat. You know how there's little, like, little sections where you can actually see into the stall yes so i'm yeah. it's before like a football game and i'm looking for a stall to actually go and take my own shit right but it's i don't want nervous wanna, shit it's a nervous shit so yeah. i'm just looking to see what stall is open and uh right i just see somebody standing up wiping their butt i'm like all right that's fine it's whatever I, i'm kind of laughing while i'm shitting i was like who fucking wipes their ass like that yeah i could get a bit of spread while sitting yeah. this is coming from someone who wiped their ass on the floor for a part yeah. of their life so you're a kind of like a Good connoisseur. Uh, yeah, I'm a connoisseur yeah. of ass wiping. Danny's, Danny's, yeah. Danny's shit snail air. Never made great. sense to me how you got your butthole to actually touch the ground. Dude, yeah, but I'll, 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 first of all, I'll never, never reveal, reveal that. that. Just yeah. like I won't reveal how I fart with my dick. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah. This kid who makes the craziest. Yeah. Th- yeah. Can you do it? If you Can you turn around and do it right now? On, on here? We'll look this way. We won't look at your dick. No, nah, that's too much movement. No, too much movement. Too <laughs> much movement. All you got to do is turn around, nah, put too, the thing right nah, there, too much, and just go No, nah, too much movement. I'm not embarrassed to do it. It's just that's too much movement. You can fart but, with but your But I dick? can do it. Yeah, I did it before. I've oh, heard, not only did my balls. Please fart with your dick on the show, I man. Fart with my balls. Dude, that's when you became my homie right there. Yeah, that's when yeah. you became my homie. When you, when you ball fart. farted. Should I try to fart with my balls right now? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, right, yes, yes, yes. All right, fart with those balls. All right, let me see if I can do it. Cool, yes. Do I have to get a mic closer? No, I just got to go there. Do it from here. <laughs> <Pause>. <laughs> what? That? It went quack. Never teaching anybody that. Damn, dude, that's fire. You, you when did balls. you figure that out? Uh, I don't know. I was playing with my balls, bro. And when he stands up, he rips them too. They're like, Bang. yeah. If I could stand up all the way, I could do it. But yeah, I can make a fart noise with my balls. <laughs> <I'll>, uh, <laughs> That was the most Howard Stern we've ever done. Yeah, that was, <laughs> Why don't you sit on, sit on the Sibian right there? Yeah, sit, <laughs> sit, on, yeah. sit on the Howard Sib. Stern. What uh, yeah, animal. but uh, we all sit down. If you could switch the lead in any movie, what movie and what actor slash actress would wait, you want to be? Wait, do you? This is a good question. After, do you fold or do you fold or crumble your toilet paper? I, let's just say it all all quick at the same time. One, fold. two, three. Fold. Crumble. You crumble it. I can't. Fold you go like this. Shit? Yeah, because it grabs more shit. When you yeah, but I get the edge. When I get the edge, yeah, I get I get a perfect you fold. It, you you know get what? the edge, I think and I'm you can conceal. I'm a hybrid. I'll say a hybrid. you can conceal other shit right, folds right. inside that right. fold. You know, it's it so also weird. depends on how much toilet. You ever like hit a toilet paper roll like aggressively, and too much paper comes out? Yes. yes. And Worst. you're like, well, well, now you have to separate it because you can't just wipe your ass with like a fucking garbage right, bag. Right, 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 right. You have right. to keep it so clean. I would say I'm a hybrid, but I definitely crumble more. Crumble is the lazy. I just want to get done with this already. Yeah. That's the crumble. I've also been known to 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 wet the toilet paper sometimes. That's okay. Well, yeah, but that's right. acceptable. Right. As soon as your to finger touches the asshole, depends on the fucking ply. No, bro. it depends on the ply. Mom ply. always has the best toilet ply? paper. It's like, oh, fu- it is good. It's yeah. like fucking cashmere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit is like yeah. Italian yeah. leather. I'm like, dude, I just like, yeah, it's just like it's such a good treatment of your boot hole. Uh, I love wiping my ass at mom's house. Thanks, um, mom. <laughs> thanks, mom, for that. Call fucking. I got to be honest though, taking my best shits in Miami. Clean, no fucking fight, 
no like kick. You're more hydrated. I don't know what's going on there. It's the vitamin D. Is is that what it is? No, I have no, no idea. I just feel like I, <laughs> I have feel no like idea. The toilet in my trap apartment is just like perfectly that's a, ni- that's a nice apartment in your apartment down there. It is cool. It's, you just it's, don't have any furniture yet. No, we no I got some... it. I got some furniture. Oh. I'll send you some pictures. Post yeah. it on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah I might have to do that. Put your Fernie no, on the Instagram. He doesn't know you can do live stories now either. Do a live yeah, story. Yeah, but sex on a bit on a good mattress on the floor, nothing's better. Yeah, those are nice. Because you don't have to worry about anything sliding floor over. Mattress. It's just like nothing slipping away from you. It's just. Nice. I hate people who have really high good up times. beds. Why is your bed so fucking hot? Yeah. I like it Bring closer your to the bed ground too. Closer to yeah. the ground, so I when like I get out, I don't want to feel too. like a. Yeah. The only reason I, I the shit. only reason I want a bed a little bit higher is like to put shit under it. Like I have my green screen underneath it. I have my I have like right. my shoebox shit underneath Sorry, it. But you could still be not thing. too high. Some just fucking you got to like fucking get a fucking goddamn uh, Dude, what's just, it called like a mountain climbing. I just fucking went nuts on Amazon one night and dropped like a grand. You got to do. You got to do. So you got to do. I got the bed you told me to get. That's what I have now. The one that folds up into a fucking suitcase. If I put my legs down. <laughs> if I don't put my legs down, yeah. If my feet can't touch the floor on a bed, yeah. I don't want that bed. But yeah, if yeah, I'm sitting no, on like a no. ski lift when right. I hang my feet off yeah, the side I, of bed. If I have to do that weird ass slide to get out do of you, bed, do you guys do you guys that. know that monsters are not real, but you still feel like maybe something might get you when your ha- feet are just hanging over the bed sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. You know it's usually my there? dog. Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah, dog your shit. Monster. It's now I think it's just one of my weird neighbors. Yeah. Um Okay, if uh, you could sl- uh, switch had a pleasure lead. watching you sleep last night. Switch leads, yeah. That story is fucking crazy. A, that right? is a crazy story, bro. So uh, if you could, s- sorry, go ahead. Probably Michael Corleone. Oh. Uh, if you could switch the Too lead in any movie, what movie would you change it from? Um, uh, fucking uh, damn, I don't know. If I wanted to, see, is this asking me if I would like to see anybody else in a movie? No, if you could switch the lead in any movie, what movie slash actor would you choose? That's what oh. that means. Yeah. Oh, so maybe I'd make like Tom Hardy be like Oh, it's Le- not us. Leon from the professional or something. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd be a mistake though. Um, yeah, Leon's great. that shit. This is what my team Um is. I would rather <laughs> see I would say it's the new um it's the new Last of Us movie. I don't I, I the guy from Mandalorian is gonna play uh uh Joel. But I think I would rather see. Uh, fuck, what's his name, dude? Who's the other dude? All right, fuck, I don't, I don't know like, the guy's uh, name. Like Angelino or whatever that guy's name, Joe Manganello. No, it's Joe Manganello. Yeah, he's it's the man. Joey's a good guy. dude. Anyway, Jared, I would. Jared I, just knows everybody. Yeah, Joe's a good dude, man. Took care of him and his wife. They're fucking good people. Um, man. I would say, all right, lead lead in a movie. Uh, other than that, that I would like to see switched. Um, I would have liked to see. I'll tell you what I would like to see switched. I would have liked to see um, Robert De Niro do Al Pacino's role in Heat. No, no, that would in be Scarface? crazy. No, if they switch. No, I would like to see Al. Pa- I would like to see Robert De Niro do g- the Godfather role for Michael Corleone, mm. and I would like to see uh, Al Pacino do. I uh, know, and I would like to see Robert De Niro do Dog Day Afternoon. Oh, okay. Ooh, wow, that's nice. That's wow. what I'd like yeah. to see. I would say, I would say, I'd switch. Attica. I'd switch. Yeah, Attica. 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 Yo, when Robin Williams take, is talking about, none of you broke his nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would. Like, I would. I would, I would, I would <laughs> yeah, I would, I would take. I would take. I would take George Clooney away from any Batman movie he ever touched. Okay. And put, I like this and, and put Michael Keaton back there. Yeah. Oh, for his yeah. role. He's gonna All be right. in the new Justice League as Batman, I think. Who? Oh yeah. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Because yeah. like they're messing no. with like time and shit. So like they're gonna go back and like he's gonna be like, hey, because go. there's time travel. Did you guys see Birdman? Yeah. It yes, great. it was amazing. He kills himself, right? He's great in Founder too. I'm, I'm not gonna give it away, but I'll say no. Yeah, any movie yeah. that's over te- five yeah. to ten fuck years dude, old, fuck I'm dude. spoiled. Dude, dude, I'm You're telling done. you right now, and it's one shot. Yeah. The whole movie's one shot. They did. They did like an Always Sunny episode like that. It's fucking brilliant. It, it, it was so good. Michael Keaton's great. Uh, and then the last question is actually from somebody named Jared. Uh, do you guys have a J-Rat. guilty uh, uh, pleasure genre of music? Mine's probably like punk music. For example, mine is old blues music. Sometimes I just need yeah. to get away from the new shit and back to the roots. I mean, yeah, but I like that genre of music. My, My guilty, guilty pleasure is probably just like uh, like weird, like Coheed and Cambria shit. My okay. guilty, uh, I would say, I mean, I don't know. My my number one favorite genre of music is blues. Uh, is blues music? Yeah. So what's your what, what's something you listen to that you're like? I don't know why I'm listening to this shit, but I'm down. It would be like some like crazy metal shit, like Black Label Society kind of shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. That's good. Um, good I shit. think we're alone I would, now. I would say mine. I would say mine, my, I would say mine is like. Uh, be any one of 
was that? Mine is like old, like old emo shit. Cause like I know emo shit is great, but at the same time, I mean, let's face it, they were they were it was some whiny ass weird bullshit. Uh, yeah. But a lot of old they school emo shit. Yeah, just a lot of complaint. Like um, Green Day and shit. Yeah, no, 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 not Green Day is like good Green to me. Like I, I'm going like uh, um, you know uh, fucking. Um, uh, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. nightmare. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like those songs, they're great. They are great, but also it's just like it's so fucking corny. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, right. To me, like the that's good my guilty pleasure. To like me, the good Charlottes and like the simple plans of the world. Yeah, I was yeah. big into those. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, and I'm only saying that as somebody who only liked hip hop. Yeah. So that's what was why the other one. My like, Valentine. What yeah, was it? Like my uh, dashboard confessional and shit. Yeah. I listen to all that yeah. fucking sad fucking, yeah. white boy shit. All time. But I, what what would like the killers be considered? Uh, pop. Why did I make that noise in my mouth? Pop uh, folk, pop folk, maybe or something. No, yeah. like pop, just pop. Yeah, they're I like, like, I pop, like that pop shit rock. Too. Pop I like, rock. I like, I like uh, Mr. Nice Guy. Boy. That's all the coming Q&As? out of my yacht. Yeah, that's, that's it. some, and then we have some of that we're saving for other yeah, shit. Yeah, some that we're saving um, for other shit. So let's see. Uh, Jared's live Instagram count is at seventy eight. Seventy eight. Oh, almost at a hundred. Yo, after this, oh, after he's this gonna hit a hundo. People are gonna get to know you more. They're gonna touch you. And we're looking permission. right in those fucking DMs. Too. Oh, we're looking are right, we? in the DMs. right after this oh, for dude. sure. Yeah, we're we're sure. It's yeah. getting ugly, dog. Dude, I'll it's be back ugly. in Miami soon, bro. Up in here, ugly, ugly. Yeah, so um, you know, we usually tell like a mom or dad story on here, mm-hmm. um, and I have like one of my favorites, and we talked about it before, but um. Can we talk about how mom threw a fork at you and got stuck in your life? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I earned it. Uh, so mom was uh, mom was cooking something at the stove and was like fixing whatever it was that was in the pan that was cooking in grease with a fork um, <laughs> and like moving it around like as you would like a pork chop or whatever, a chicken cutlet. I don't know what she was cooking. But I was just being a dick. Um, probably mouthing off to her and just like forgot how gangster she is. And like when you talk shit to somebody that's in arm's reach, they can hurt you. You know. Mm-hmm. Yes. True and uh, and Amen. yeah, so Amen. things things were said probably that weren't nice and got her all going. And mom literally just like turned at me and was gonna like hit me, but she had the fork in her hand and then just like whipped it at my fucking leg. And through, yeah. I always refer to it as like the scene when Ace Ventura takes like the dart in Ace Ventura Two. Oh, and he takes yeah. like the yeah, fucking blowgun like, dart, and he's yeah. just like, ah, uh, yeah, like, no, the spears, the spears, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like little fucking like spears, darts, yeah, 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 some like, shit like that. Ah, yeah, it's just, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I remember just fucking like being like, holy shit, and it's like, and it was like in my calf. I like, was there. Everyone was there. Yeah, well, everybody was in different rooms. Uh, I was in, I was in the kitchen. I think I was there. Right. And we and, yeah. and I'm just like screaming, and I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? And I'm like running around. This fucking Gosh. like fork is like dangling out of Gosh. my calf muscle. Yeah. And Dad runs in, and he's like, "What is that? What the fuck is that? Like, what are you doing?" Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I did like that weird moment where you have to like grab it and just be like, mm, yeah, and just like rip it out of your fucking leg. And I was just like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, and it was like a little piece of like white meat sticking out. Oh God! And I fucking just was like, "What the fuck?" And my mom was just like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry." I didn't know I was gonna get stuck in here. Yeah, sound like, like Karen from Goodfellas. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. you killed us. Why? That might be the first that? time a Puerto Rican mom has ever apologized for yeah. throwing something yeah. at yeah. a child. I mean, the they're, they're apologetic when CPS shows up. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and then I remember like later on that night, I was just in the bed, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like crying, like, so dramatic. Walk, and mom like crawled into bed with me. She was just like spooning with me. That's how mom was. was. That's how mom was. She was like a fucking Italian Dude. mobster. She would kill you, and then she'd pay for your hospital bill. Yeah, no, sure. she would fuck you up and then pay for your hospital. Yeah, like take like send your. Like, kids, let me like, pay for the bill. Like I feel bad. Dude, I, I lost bad. my temper. But he had it coming. You he know had it coming. Through. Also, but yeah, she fucking legit threw a fork into the side of my leg, and it That's got stu- sticking stu- out. Of I have a scar. Leg. I have a scar to this day. Oh really? What a great yep. family! Nice. What a great family. Yeah. We got a great family. Now. Speaking of great family, uh, what 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 was that time with two when Dad choked you up against the wall? Ooh! Oh, and another. I was watching Power Rangers. And I didn't give a shit. Was that about was? It. Are you talking about me? Yeah, yeah. What'd you uh, What'd the, you do again? What'd you uh, say? I was mouthing off to mom. Oh yeah, I was mouthing off to mom. <sighs> Dad hated. You know who was there? Dad. Michael was there. I was Alex, watching Power Rangers. Doctor Alex Rosenstein was there. Oh, at Rosenstein was yep. there when that happened. And Grandpa was there. Mom's dad, and he was going, "Oh, Danny." Danny, uh, yeah, no, Danny. Don't go to, yeah, like, don't like, go. yeah. I remember I I had said something slick. I think I had cussed at her. 
yeah. like on under my breath and was walking away and yeah. dad heard it from the living room. Oh yeah. He had and great ears for that. Dude, storm like well, he could probably hear the whole shit like already going down. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not gonna get involved, I'm not gonna get involved. And then I just said something like, I don't know. It was probably like fuck or shit or bitch or whatever. And dad fucking stormed through the house and grabbed me from one room. I just remember just being like <laughs> There were just flashes of yeah. me traveling through the house yeah. at like light speed. Yeah. Yep. All just under the grip, like the, the grip of Big Dan. And he was furious. And I remember like the first, he just like, I remember walking away and being like, yeah, fucking bitch, you know, some shit. And then I just remembered being like, whoop, like just getting like snatched out of my shit. Yeah. And then I was like in the fucking dining room and then I was like, boof, in the kitchen and I was like, boof, in and the like, fucking living yes. room. Yes. And lifted and Big Jared Dan, from his neck. Dude. Like, like effortlessly. Up, effortlessly. Effortlessly. Because like, like the yeah, Undertaker. I Big Dan is six. Yeah. Is six, six, four, two, six, no, three? six, two, six, three. Yeah, six, but three-ish. like in his prime. He's probably like six, very yeah, that high, that weight and agile big, and strong, big guy. And you guys and know for all my like, for all my five foot nine, five foot ten, or sure. five foot uh, yeah. ten, inches, very nice, <laughs> five foot eight people, whatever. Yeah. Six three is is big. Once yeah, you get yeah. to big six, dude. it's a big difference. And, he, and yes. he's athletic, and he's got like long arms, strong, so, naturally yeah. strong. So strong he just man. he fucking yoked me up, dude. And I remember, I remember Alex. And you guys could ask him about this. Alex was just like, bro, I thought he was going to fucking kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and our, our grandfather, our rest his soul. Um, mom's mom's dad. Yeah, yeah who, mom's who was dad. also known for laying down the iron fist oh, when yeah, he had he to. Shit was yeah. probably like, yeah. because he wasn't a big dude. So he was probably watching a big dude beat up a small target and was just like, oh, shit. Right. Like, this is some next level, like angry white guy shit. You know what I mean? Right. And I, I deserved it. He gave me the business. There were a few times where dad fucking yoked me up and I was just like, wow, I'm there's I'm powerless against this. Uh, it's dad. Dad always had that, uh, that streak in him where he could just kill everybody in the yeah. house whenever he wanted. Yeah. Effortlessly. Effortless. Uh, effort, effortless. Eff- effortlessly. effortlessly. I, I don't know. Listen. This this episode has been so goddamn long that yeah. I, I don't even know which brother I am now. Also, I, I just want to yeah. say before we dip show before on. we dip out that uh, when Jared got his ass kicked by my dad and I look back and turn my head around, that's the day I realized I'm a bad brother. Yeah. <laughs> that's when it all started. <laughs> We're not going to answer that. Um, so listen, uh, everybody. Uh, Woo! Woo! Want, want to thank Jared for coming on the show. Oh, dude, are you kidding? Answering a bunch of the Patreon uh, questions with us. It was so fun to have you here. You're obviously always welcome. Always, uh, always, well, always a pleasure. You can to be come with you whenever guys. you want. Now you can follow Jared on Instagram Dude, at Jared Priori. He has over he 100 come followers. He wants. Do I? He holds it in. You have Holy over 100 shit. followers. Shit, I got to start posting yeah. stuff. You got 100 people. followers, guys. It's gonna be a huge letdown. But, uh, this is where we go and ask. Uh, you know, you know, if you want to join the Patreon, go to Patreon.com/slash The Priori Podcast. And uh, we're going to read some of our Lot Nation, all of our Lot Nation CEOs and CFOs. Yeah. Uh, Allison Mehta. Love you. Annie Alamont. Love you. Anthony Movado. Love you. Bethany Sykes. Love you too. Brittany. Love you too. Sienna Young. Mm-hmm. Claudia. Yeah. Debbie Rubel. 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 Debbie Rubel. Uh, Estella Escobar. Escobar. Jacqueline. Uh, Him- Himberger. Jessica Koontz. Joseph Ar- Ar- Arsenal. There he is. Uh, Julie Leone, uh, Kanon, Kevin Silva, Mat- Matthias Bartholomew the Third, yeah, Melanie, Maddie M- Bartz, MP41. My name's actually Jeff. Uh, Nicole Derelou, Nicholas Neeson, Nudes to my dad, Paige Gilham, Spencer Purdue, the real Pachu, Tim Tito Melendez, Turbo Chubs, Aaron, Ashley, Ashley. Baracchino, Auto Fire, Auto Fire, great Paul, guy, baby. Brianna Palumbo, Carmen Julia Louis Dreyfus Fisher, Chelsea Ran- Rannells, Colin Anderson, Derek Frizzell, Donald Brown, Eddie Hayden Hoskins, Eddie. Jade Hubble. Hubble, Jess, Jody Ordanza, John Kaminskis, Kaylee Novicki, Linda from Accounting, Liz um, Anamani, uh, Knowing Glish, LOL. Olivia Zapeta, Newton John Pico, uh, Sheila Viejo, and Vanessa Pineda. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us in this super long episode of Low Priority yes. Podcast. Yes. You know, th- make sure make sure you're nice to everybody and have a good day. Yes. We love everybody. Love um, you. And uh, I don't. I hate my brothers. Also, love you.
Also, guys, thank you so much for 10 episodes. I mean, oh, oh yeah, we are 10. at 10. This is, this is our 10th episode. Oh, so. yeah, we are at 10. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where for me, it's. Listen, this has been a dream of mine. Um, I need to thank. I need to thank so many people. I, so I many thank, people. I want to thank Alex at Paragon Collective. Uh, I want to thank my brother, Michael O'Priori. I want to thank my brother, Jared O'Priori, for being on the show tonight. Yeah, baby. Thank you, guys. It's, it's always been my dream to be here hosting a show. We Woo! fucking love you. You know, coming from a small town like Hastings, I never thought that I would be this famous. And here you are. And here I am. I want to thank. Um, I want to thank the Killers. I want to thank Mom and Dad. I want to thank Mom and Dad, Cuba Gooding Jr. Woo, um, my guy. I want to thank. I want to thank. Um, you know, God. Without God, none of this would be possible. My grandma, who's probably not watching, but she'll watch the rerun. Thank you so much. Love I you, love grandma. you. I saw you the first time. And I want to thank. Everyone that came out, I love you guys so much. And Chevy Chase, we, we miss you. We Wherever hope you're doing you well. Wherever you are, Chevy. Love Thank you, Chef. so, Thank you much. so much. Chevy. Woo. We did it. I want to thank my future girlfriend for putting up with me. Later, guys. We're out. Good night. Deuces. <laughs>